and today hey, we're going to be doing a hey, special hello. gameplay of Land and Galzir yeah. Ice Cream Edition. Yeah. We've all grabbed a pint of ice cream and we'll be playing. Yeah. Did you just call it a pint? I yeah. did call it a pint. Did you just call it a pint? No. Is that how is that how your is that how your your guy talks? <laughs> Why is your mouth all blue? I might have had a, 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 a airhead as well. He's just going in character. I believe those have color tongues. Just use an overly blue tongue. <laughs> So if you're not aware of what Lands of Galzir is, this is going to be the latest title from Snowdale Design, which is coming to Kickstarter, or it's currently on Kickstarter, when this video is published. In this game, you are going to be taking control of adventurers trying to complete their very own and unique story. This is going to be, I'm not sure if the word legacy is correct, but it's definitely a story-driven board game where you're going to be going to different locations and using skill checks to try and resolve each one of those locations. In addition to everything I've said, I believe that the final game will have an option for this, but you might need one of um, a device, uh, could be iPad, phone, any type of device that you can access a website from, which is going to have triggers for you to advance that story. At the end of the day, you're able to play this both cooperatively or competitively. We are choosing the competitive variant. In addition to all that stuff, the game has multiple layers of either locations that are going to be able to explore and also seasonal changes that affect how you access the game and how you interpret it. And that, everybody, is Lands of Galzir. I don't think it's 60 seconds, but wasn't listening. in a short time frame. Because you already know all what? about oh, this. Oh, sorry. No, I was distracted by the fact that this video is not sponsored by Twix. It's sponsored by haagen Haagen-Dazs. The best pint-sized ice cream you can buy. haagen -Dazs. Is that Gentlemen, yes. while can, we, we were can playing... I just play? <laughs> no, because while we were playing, we forgot an iPad. <gasps> oh no, that so, is important, isn't so it? So we need a device. It is you very important. You threw your device across the room before we started videoing. We could have used your said device. No, I do no, have no. device. No, no, no. We, we need a full screen of a device. Go get the iPad. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Okay. Well, it's I... just it's downstairs. I will get device. We'll be right back. It's not that complicated. My ice cream. It's melting. Like a wicked witch of the old west. Okay. Quick. Now we put something in it. Now is when you put those habanero <laughs> peppers that you added to our salad earlier. Mm -hmm. Your mouth's still burning from it. Mm -mm. I know. I gave you extras because mm -hmm. you enjoyed the spiciness. Mm -hmm. It was very amusing. You were burping, hiccuping, and gagging all simultaneously. It was a cacophony of sounds coming yeah, out of your mouth. Hurt my mouth. Hmm? We were talking about the habanero peppers. We were thinking of putting some in your ice cream. Oh, no, that'd be horrible. Why would you do that? You, you like spicy. Not in my ice cream. You don't like spicy ice cream? Application! All right. Is this restarted? Just from where we referenced that, you can bring in, like, from Start underneath over. the table. Lands of Galzir. Start a new game. We are starting in May. Sunday. Perfect day to start. Okay, Sunday fun day. All right, Jen, we decided you were first player. Yes, I do have the starting player token. Obviously, we haven't said this yet, but this is 100% a prototype copy. <laughs> it might... Kazoom type. Do you not like the idea of a prototype top copy? Is I, that... I sneezed. You sneezed. <laughs> so, this being a prototype, some of the story arches or branches that are within the game are not 100% yeah. complete, specifically... We're playing a three-player version of this game. This is going to be playable from one to four players, but two of the characters in the prototype copy don't have full-fledged stories out or finished just yet. That is going to be Bumir. However, really, more... Really primarily just their intro story. Correct. Because you usually start the adventure by arriving your narrative, and then the way that you progress from campaign to campaign and game to game is by unveiling the world stories mm -hmm. and crafting your own pathway or your own narrative. Correct. The only thing you don't have is that beginning. Yep. We do. We both are going to be following Correct. a few things that are a bit more scripted yep. that lead us into an adventure. Whereas you get a few free items, mm -hmm. you start off hot off the gate, and you yeah. can decide where you want to go and what you want to do. Kind of like you were playing two or three days into the campaign already. I'm not complaining because those items are going to give me a lot of leverage when it comes to the skill checks, right? This Didn't game... it seem to help when we played before? <laughs> failed your first couple skill I just checks. have to read carefully mm -hmm. my different what was it Shira verbs, verbs is the term and tags 
verbs and tags and choose the proper starting location for my character. Where are you going to start? So I think because we don't get, usually turn sequence, you would take a move and then you would do a scene. So since we don't get to take our moves, we start with a scene. I don't think you get to take a move. Yeah, you probably start with a scene. Start with a scene. Okay, so, so wherever I start, we'll just do that, right? Yeah. Hmm. I and remember if you're on any, if you ever end your turn at any of these locations, we're gonna randomly pick one, or okay. if you have a card that supersedes that. And then every location also triggers based on the type of terrain that you're on into. On these cards, it says different requirements. So it can either be a day of the week, mm -hmm. a condition of your character, or it can be the terrain type you're standing on. Like injured, for instance. Not that I would bring Wounded. that up related to you. In well, how about afraid? Specific. Afraid might be more, more apt, right? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and start here on Docs. So please, Shira, read me 0013 as I enjoy my ice cream. Well, it's actually going to be Jesse who's going to read it. Ooh. I'll read for Jesse, and you'll read for me. Yes. And try listening to his text. You're a bit sure you have it. Yeah, you made a big to my anger. A fair. I see John is really much more suspicious. You also see what he's done. Much of buildings, heavens, is really a no for. Would you like to play dice with an ocelot or find one responsible to ship traffic? I, I feel that the, the precursor to all that was so compelling. <laughs> you enter the city's harbor situated on the banks of a mighty Igora River. A ferry touches down, disgorging tourists and merchants. You also see the floating town, a collection of buildings that Hembazi is famously known for. Hezembi? Exactly. An ocelot <laughs> shooting dice on a table at the docks, calling out gambling challenges to anyone passing by. If you wish to leave Hem Hezambi by boat, you could look for whoever is responsible for booking passage on ships anchored here. Would you like to play dice with an ocelot? Skill check two of the paw mobility. I don't know it what that means. It costs two oh, coins. It costs two coins. Oh. Or you mm. already have. You have ten. I do. I do. Or find the one responsible for ship traffic. He might hmm. win something if you spend the coin. You also might find someone responsible for ship traffic if you go looking for the him. So even though my full-fledged campaign is not finished, yeah. I do have a little hint of what Bumir is Likes searching for. He's looking for treasure. I gotta be honest though, finding how to get out on a boat to go to an island sounds more adventurous than playing with those skeevy ocelots. Hey, hey, hey. What? A lot of things can right. happen from a single die roll, as we've seen. Okay, but I will be going with the also, ship Also, when it is your turn, I would advise not to look at the tablet screen yeah. because mm. it's going to say stuff. How dare you? I'll just look at my ice cream and enjoy. Pay two coins. No, 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 no. I want to do the ship. Ship traffic. Uh, search for ship. Dodging past Steve Doers, unloading trade cogs and lines of passengers boarding ships, you make it to the harbor master's office. There you ask about booking passage out of the city. You are directed to an office belonging to a desert rain frog by the name of Tamuku, who is pleased to make your acquaintance. Tamilku. What can I do for you there, my fellow folk? She That's asks pretty in a good, actually. Choice while both of you give an introductory shake. You explain to, Mel to, to Tamilku that you want to book passage out of Hezambi. I can arrange you a private boat to take you wherever you want to go. Or you can catch a cheaper ride on the bigger ships leaving today. I'm trying to talk like I'm hopping as I do. <laughs> as you consider the options, Tamilku recalls something and tells you there's another option. Or, if you're looking for a free ride, I can put you to work at the docks. I'm short of help today and have barrels of needing to open. Hmm. Barrels that need opening? Yeah. Do you have a populace tag? That sounds tough. No. Okay. Would you like to force the barrels open? Mm. Easy, might check. Hire a private boat for five coins. Hitch a ride to Rinchdom for four coins. Or hitch a ride to Arhen wow. for three coins. So oh, basically wow. you're going along this river and you can either end up here or oh, up there. here. Wow. We're going to force those. So one of the interesting things about all these story elements is that once you actually have a little tableau of yourself or items you've collected... There are different types of sim words here that are captured within different types of boxes. Yeah. These are going the ones in the teal color are going to be called tags, and the ones nope. in the in the sim no. The ones in the circle are verb. No, verb. yeah, yeah. So the ones in circles. So these in the teal to uh, tone are tags, and then these in the semicircles are going to be called oh, verbs. They both look circular from here. Yeah. So 
I coincidentally have a verb that was just used on that application, which is force. Oh. Which means that nope. I can now use, no? Oh. Yeah, yeah nice. force, right? Absolutely. Force which means that I can use that with this, so However, it works in it, conjunction. It's not outlined in a tag here, but I am curious. I think the word, I think the word's usable. We'll see. Because uh, force allows you to reroll up to three times, and you've got sturdy rope, which means you could like tie the barrels to the rope and drop them off a ledge or something. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Reveal outcome. So go ahead and roll. I'd say he can use it. Force is there. Speaking of rolling. This, every character is going to have these little... Because you also have to think prototype. There's a chance that force hasn't been entered in as an identifier mm -hmm. yet. I hear. Has these little plastic pieces. These little pieces represent the different types of skills that you excel at. And each one of these characters has six potential skill trees that they can become more proficient at. Proficiency in this game translates to die colors. Every player will be able to roll up to five dice every time they do a skill check. However... Black dice have all the skills. The total six skills are in the game. When you start specializing in certain skills, you'll be able to substitute one of those black die for a specialized die that pertains to the particular skill that you're trying to resolve. Which in this case, Jesse, what type am I doing? I'm doing... Might. Might. An easy might. If we look at my board, I have one proficiency in might, and then I also have two in survival and one in thievery. Now, one of the interesting, another interesting thing about this game is that it's using a little bit of color theory. We're going with complementary colors, so that means that imagine that this is a wheel, well, it is a wheel of colors. Any colors that are adjacent to it are complementary to it, which mean that I can use those dice to try and help me with my might. I mean, you could just be like, hey, any skills that are right next to a skill mm -hmm. that I'm proficient in is going to give me a die that has a slightly better advantage, whereas the ones on the opposite side are not directly adjacent, aren't going to benefit Complimentary me. Complementary colors. But instead you go, there's this whole concept of color theory. Well, where you six, spent all that time doing it. I wanted to six, highlight it. There are six die faces. So if you were taking a blue die, it would have double symbols for the mm -hmm. actual skill, and it has two single symbols for the other two, but it has none of the three other symbols across. That's how it works. And here's the thing. When you're picking up dice, you can only pick up to a maximum of two specialized dice in any one color, and you can have up to a maximum of four specialized dice in the entirety of your roll. And that's pretty much how that works. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out. I think rolling on the on the center will be the, be the I mean, best bet, right? No. Mm -hmm. No? Where should I roll them? ever the best bet. I always think to myself, you know where I'd like to roll <laughs> dice? In the, in, especially Jan rolling dice in a board game? Yeah, centers where you want to go with cards that can slide and bits and tokens that can be oh, shifted. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so first thing about rolling dice in this game, you can re-roll one time after you've done all one. All dice. All, all dice. dice, yes. Oh, I no. Like I have no complaints <laughs> on rolling all my dice right now. Hey. Oh, okay, Better. and now I'm going to activate my force ability. So I can re-roll up to three dice is what that Th says. Does? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go ahead and reroll this bugger right here. <laughs> nice. I'm okay. You know what? Let's just give it a shaky here. One and the second one. Okay. So we got five dice. I think that's pretty good. Traditionally with skills, if it's an easy skill, you need at least one hit point. If it's a medium skill, it requires two. And hard requires three or more. However, the more you get, the better you will be at the and skill. I would assume this doesn't mean you get to roll the same dice three times. I would assume it means you reroll three dice like a Yahtzee style, collect three and roll them. Mm. Just so you're aware. Okay, but tech, okay, you technically we didn't do it correctly. Yay. Reveal outcomes. Okay. Four plus. Okay. What <clears throat> again? The team of dock workers pauses in awe, in, in awe, witnessing you opening every barrel in a furious storm of productivity. They hoot and cheer as, as you just did the better part of their entire day's work for them. <laughs> they deal with emptying the exotic fruits held within as you go visit Tamelku. The desert rain frog is thrilled with your work and hands you a ticket. She points out one of the ships anchored at the pier. This stub will get you into that ship. Its destination is Rishtumbum, but it makes a stop at Arkin. You can get off at either city. You thank the frog and board the ship. There you enjoy the costless ride across the smooth waters of your preferred choice between the two destinations. You gain one prestige. Move your figure to Archen or Rishtendum. Archen? So, yes. Uh, so and we never Rhine talked Stone. about it. But the objective of a competitive game is to reach up to seven prestige points first. Yes. 
And I already have one. Where would you like to go? I, I don't want to go to either. I wanted to go to the ruins afterwards. I hear there's a quest there. Ah, there's fine. There's a quest here. And there's a city full of things you can do up top. You can fine. go to the market, the library, the docks. But not right now because I already did my scene for this game. Correct. Okay. However, I believe at any point you can pick up, on your turn, you can pick up a quest. So, you are going to that. take the Arhin quest. This is the public side. That's kind of public information. The private side is what you look at and don't share to anyone Ooh, else. It secrets. should say a city hmm. where you have to go to Read the public side, though. Oh, yeah, 100%. Assistance and fun seeking required. Understanding the mind of a potential sponsor or patron appreciated. Or deep pockets. Arin University. Okay. Jesse, your turn. Mm. What is. Where are you starting now? Both of us have our starting quest, and we start on our card, and it says to start an adventure. You've come into Glazier in search of the hero of your favorite childhood Why'd stories. Why'd you end up there? And what better way to start than from the beginning? Uh, please pull adventure number 0085. However, you start your figure on this card. You don't know you're going up there yet. I do want to start reading. Technically. Technically. <laughs> We've begun the game before. Yes. So, yeah, so it starts here, then goes there. So, 0085. And mm -hmm. finally, you've arrived. You peer at the outskirts of a small town peeking from behind great mountains. It is humble, but most fitting start for a journey. Of course, you enjoyed everything that came before as well. But this is the true beginning. You unfur unfold your frill and excitement, thinking about the stories that await, and step forth to Trabar, the birthplace of your hero. Head into the town. On your way there, you can't stop grinning, thinking about all the stories your grandma used to tell. Tales of White Fang's adventurers were always the best, like the ones where he bested his nemesis, Kafirit. Now, years later, those stories were coming to life. Rumor says that the mysterious, legendary adventurer hasn't been seen in years, decades even. No one seems to know where he's gone or even what his real name is. But that's about to change, because you're going to follow in his footsteps and meet your idol in person. You even brought along your treasure, your prized possession that once upon a time belonged to White Fang Oh, yes, himself. my. Move the adventurer's figure to Shabar. Give a random 100 card. My. What is this legendary treasure, Jesse? I, how could I have forgotten my refreshing juice? <laughs> <laughs> White Fang's been hearing that for his entire career. Fresh, strong juice can have an intense effect on your mental and physical abilities. Mm, especially when it's been marinating for decades. Oh no, it's my refreshing juice. <laughs> your mind races as you follow the enthusiastic <laughs> polecat's cub guiding. It's my family! It is such a small, remote town, but everyone knew White Fang, and the cubs immediately agreed to show you his childhood home. He truly made... We're here! One of the cubs exclaims, interrupting your daydreaming. You look around. The place appears most ordinary on the outside. A small farmhouse some ways off of the town. But the inside looks like a museum, filled with memorabilia of White Fang's many adventures. Standing there, you close your eyes and immerse yourself in his legacy and story, which feel closer than ever before. Mm -hmm. Opening your eyes again, you see the cubs looking at you expected, expectantly. Do you want to investigate the memorabilia for an easy eyeball task? <laughs> I don't know what the eyeball symbol was. Insight. Perception. Insight. Insight. Mm -hmm. Do you want to investigate the memorabilia for an easy insight perception or do you want to recall white things adventurers for a medium storybook hmm. i want to do an easy insight i think hmm. we did storybook last time this is going to give me two blue and three black to roll uh so right now that's <laughs> two successes oh wait jen is that not what you're so that's to the do? ideal s s place where we're rolling? Typically. <laughs> okay, great. Mm -hmm. Typically. <laughs> so in a skill check, I may discard to get two stars. Mm. Do I bump it to four, knowing that this is easy? No, but that's a... You you're not doing a survival right skill. Why would you want to bump it to four? And I'm not doing a survival skill. Yeah, you're doing three. a lore. You see that? You got great, dude. This is three. No, 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 no. We're looking for the eye. Oh, you're looking for eyeballs. Are you looking for eyeballs? Mm -hmm. You got two. It's not bad. I think I'm Remember, gonna... you have a roll. I know. I think I'm going to keep two, though. That's about as good as I could hope. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Solid. The collection on display is quite impressive. Items, maps, clippings of local newspaper articles, even a painting, all supposedly connected to White Fang one way or another. 
You inspect the exhibition carefully, living vicariously as you imagine the stories each crumbled corner or signs of wear must signify. As you explain some of your findings to the curious cubs, a crowd of visitors slowly gathers around you. It seems that everyone is eager to hear more about the legendary adventurer. There are several eyes on you. No matter how, you've always liked being the center of attention. It's mm. true. Yes. Time to impress them. <laughs> Do you want to declare your ambitions with a medium theater or sneak out with a medium... I don't know what that is. Thievery? Yeah, for sure medium theater, which means I'm going to trade <laughs> one of these for a green. And now we're looking for theaters. Oh! Three. Oh, you did real good. It's a medium, though. Three is like the minimum I think you need to pass. <sighs> yes, for which is why... Two. Mm -hmm. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this. Risky intuition. You're going to spend that card already? In a theater or skill check, in a theater or inside skill check, you may discard to get one success and roll the hex as many times as I'd like. One through three means I lose a success and I stop rolling. <laughs> Four through 12, I gain successes. It is pretty risky, Jesse. Oh, okay. So that that's is one. Four, uh -huh. five successes. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Is that, I mean, it can't get better than five, can it? No, you, you're in, no, you got, oh, yeah, it is five. For a medium, that's fantastic. Yeah, well, there you go. Now you're at four. <laughs> Could you have chosen to stop? Yeah. Oh, dude. An ambition years in the making bellowed out with thunderous resolve. Your proud proclamation resonates with the crowd like it does in, support, in the supports. With pride, you declare that you'll find White Fang and become an adventurer worthy of being called his successor. Hmm. As soon as you're finished, the crowd erupts in cheer, gathering around you to drown you in congratulations and well wishes. Some even passes you a few coins for your journey. As you're about to start said journey, backed up, backed by and carrying the hopes of the entire town, the cubs return running. We found this laying around earlier, one of them says, handing you something, and we want you to have it. Tell White Fang we said hi. Oh, yes, the... You, uh, <laughs> hold up. You, you gain two. Jesse, why can't you remember all these things? Come you, on. You gain two prestige. Oh, why does he gain two? You get four money. Ow. Return this to the library. Over there. Come on, Jesse, think. He White Fang's ran... treasured He's item. Got, he, it was just around the town. It, it was just. How could I have forgotten my <laughs> bunch of keys? Oh, of course. I mean, actually, not that unuseful. <laughs> it's great for burglary. And doesn't matter how thief-proof a lock is, I might have the right key. That doesn't sound very white fang though. And then, but I might be breaking into his hard home. Two, six, seven. He's a celebrity now, after all. Let's see. You may be opening up the door to his house because those are White Fang's keys. Right? Yes, that's called breaking in. <laughs> this is your next quest, which are kept secret. Oh, yes. end of your scene. My scene. Okay, Sheeta. All right, 0086. Okay, 0086. I'm going to use the other really nifty portion of this. 86, return. Ha ha. Standing at the top of a plank leading ashore, you view the busy docks below. Folks carrying cargo, negotiating passage, or just loitering, shouting, laughing, living their lives. You want to step down and join them. But this short, symbolic step from the ship means so much more. It means starting your life anew, leaving your troubled past behind, the past your new friend so kindly pulled you from. She should be waiting for you by the tavern. Supposedly the worst Rifesum has to offer. Will you move already? The captain shouts behind you. Or do you want to go back or something? Step ashore and go meet your friend. In Rheinstrom? Yes. Walking through the seaside street, your mind wanders back to your benefactor. You met in awkward circumstances, yourself trying to steal from her. You could have ended up in jail again, or worse. But instead, she listened, showed compassion, and helped you out of some serious trouble. You don't fully understand how she did it, or why, and it took you a while to be able to trust her. You spot the tavern. Brewing Toad and your friend awaiting you. She's wearing a hood, but you can't mistake that beak. Her eyes light up as she finally sees you and she greets you warmly. Here, I brought you something. Welcome to Galzira, sailor. Move the adventurer, Isa. figure two. I, I pronounce it a sailor. <laughs> Move the adventurer, figure two, Reichsum. Give random 150 from the library to the adventurer. 
and then give 281 from the library. It's so nice when your friends bring you... Ways, a way of spice? Oh. A book. <laughs> and then what else? Uh, a random, that's 150, 281. 280. Which I believe is going to be our friend... The person with the beak. Nara! Nara! It is Nara. Ha ha! She's my companion. Do so you have an ally now? I do. And I have a tool. Look at the beak. It shows through the hood. She's a roamer and she's skilled in flight, which so am I. We're friends. Nara has traveled all over Galzir and beyond for a oh, living. Did taking... you see you have your own terms? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Taking on various tasks ranging from trivial to hopeless. In survival skill checks, I get one success. Hmm. Mine, so you can see about the card, mine is a timed for five rounds. So I will take something that is more symbolic of me. I'll take something with a beak. Oh. And five rounds after we started on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So one, two, three, four, five. Friday, oh, Friday. Friday. I'm gonna get peaks on Friday. All right. No. <laughs> And then I, when I sneak and intimidate, I can re-roll up to two dice. Okay, so, yes, that it would be, you have your wits, but to make it here, you'll need more than that. Now a blabbers. Why did turn into a wizard? <laughs> uh, what was the voice I was doing before? Nara. Nara blabbers on as the two of you tour the city's market. Would it hurt you to try to make a good impression or to pick up a book every once in a while? I did pick up a book! You do know how to read, right? Way of Spies! Hmm, that's not really a book, that's more like... You didn't just pick it up, she brought you that. Yeah, so I'm she's trying literally, to get you she's to She's literally read. being like, nah, you should read more, girl. <laughs> but most importantly, be careful out there. You notice her grimace briefly at the last bit. But before you can ask her about it, she excuses herself to visit one of the stalls nearby, which seems to offer camping equipment. Left alone for a moment, you look around the busy market, curious about this foreign city you've ended up in. What are these folks like? Observe the folks at the market for a medium skill check of blue, or recall what you know about Risham, an easy skill check of green. I'm gonna do the easy. Okay. Yeah. Can I have four black dice and Oof. one yellow die? Oof. Okay. That's a uh, risky business. What did you just do? I didn't realize oh, that's the wrong card. I didn't realize there was a location for me to pick up at Charbar, and I did. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So then put this down on our hen. Cool. All right. Another one folded. I'm going for green. And you can have up to three quests in your hand. <laughs> Nothing. Hey. I will re-roll. I bet you will. Let's see if we're doing gents. Check on the board. Nothing oh, yet. that's a no. Nothing okay, so Shira. Mm -mm. What, did, what, what happened? <laughs> it suddenly dawns to you that you've arrived in a foreign city knowing barely anything about it beforehand. You've never done anything like this before. Instead, being careful with your every move. Is this what adventuring means? Before you're able to think about it further, you hear shouting in the crowd and notice a group of tough-looking vultures pushing through the masses. Uh -oh. And they're wadding towards you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Interrupting her haggling, you point the vultures out to Nara. It's us, she says. They're after us. We need to get out of here, eh, sailor? The vultures start to move faster. They are, ne they are nearly on you. Sneak away through the crowd through a hard thievery or sneaking test, which is going to be pink, or convince the folks around you to help a medium theatrical mm -hmm. test. I'm not good in either of you these You are things. not. Wait, it said sneak? It does use the word sneak. Ha! Huh, I have sneak. Nice. Nara, let me sneak. I will okay. sneak. Okay, roll your dice. Can I have one pink, two purples, and two black? Okay, you got your blacks over there. Okay, perfect. Sneak. I can re-roll up to two dice after this. Including In addition three. to the full one, yeah. So... Not... Gr oh, no, 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 that's pretty good. You got two already. Am I needing a pink? No, 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 you're looking for thievery. 
thievery. Yeah, which is the little hand. The hand. Mm-hmm. You got two, not bad. So then, you know what? I'm not going to reroll all of it. Just going to reroll I'm going to reroll two die. I'm going to reroll right. my pink die. And remember what Jesse said. It's only one. My again. assumption was it was like Yahtzee where it's a whole, you reroll two dice. Up to two. Okay. Not the same one multiple times. No. Do you have that hand? Hmm? Did you have that black hand there before you moved the die? No. <laughs> I don't believe so. Uh oh. Um. So I think I don't think it's the same. I think I could still reroll all of them. You can now reroll all of them mm. before you're free. I think you can do that in any order yeah, you, you want, can. right? Mm. Well, may the odds be ever in your Wait, favor. No, no, whatever that was. <laughs> Shira, you, you, uh, you didn't do it. I wanted this. That was you, what I wanted. You did. You All did right, not. one. one. Hoo, 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 okay, let's see. Zero to two, so the threshold was three or more. So you were right on re-rolling. I love how you just set it down. Did you do that? Or did you, just, did you set you it set down? set it like... down like that. <laughs> did you really? I did. That's ridiculous. Didn't intentionally. All right, now I know how to roll. I just go like this, and I set it down. Oh, okay. Is Look that... at that. Look at that. That is advanced <laughs> rolling right there. Yeah. <laughs> you try to slip through the masses, but it's no use. The market is too crowded, and your pushing and showing draws only more attention to you. Lancing back, you see the vultures getting closer, reaching for their weapons. You would never want to seek out fights, but they're leaving you no options. But before that can happen, Nara suddenly pulls you close and whispers, Listen, meet me in tension. There's folks there who can help us. Before you're able to object, she gives you a reassuring smile before pushing you further into the crowd. You hear shouting from her direction, and Nara's voice above others, goading the vultures after her. She has saved you twice now, you realize, as you slip away from the market. Return a friend in need, one, 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 from the adventurer to the library. I did. Bye-bye. Return Nara, 281, from the adventurer to the library. I don't really want to. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now give the adventurer 268 from the library. Okay. Huzzah! Okay. Mm-hmm. Now what? So you lost your friend. I lost Nara. But she says she's in Tashun. So true. if I go over there, maybe I find her. Hmm. Well, that is the end of your scene. And now, it's Monday, everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Jesse. So. No, 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 no. It's my turn. <laughs> You're just holding the iPad. I'm thinking I'm gonna go. Mm-hmm. Read. Um. Where are you planning on going, Mr. Anderson? I don't know yet. I gotta find it. Okay, you can go ahead. So you're not planning on exploring Shazba? No. You... It's not his turn. Yeah, it's your turn. Okay. So is the first it... thing I'm doing, I'm. Is it your turn? Yes, it is. I'm picking up a quest. So please, may I have that quest there? In Thank Arhan? you. Yes. Okay. An important person of Gemsid is missing. A job for a highly discreet and trustworthy individual is offered. The royal bodyguard. I'll go ahead and read the specifics of that afterwards. Then, I'm going to go ahead and move over there to that port city with the four. So I'm going to do a move of two. Okay. And now I am forced to read that random location. You don't have anything else? I cannot do anything else. Okay. This? Mm-hmm. You don't read it, just you read this. Yes. So, is it a Tuesday? It is not a Tuesday. Then you are on forest. Zero, is there zero... a port action? What? No, there's no port. Oh. Mm. Just a road action. Nope. Zero, zero, five, nine. Mm-hmm. I like that it's like something different would be happening here if it was a Tuesday in the week. <laughs> That's so of course, cool. Jesse, Tuesdays are so eventful. Cold sun, sa- sun-, sun showers leak from the summer sky, dripping down onto you through the branches of the forest you are in. Along the road that is taking you through the woods, you spot something up ahead. Drawing close to inspect it, you see a shred of fabric impaled on the limb of a brush. Mm-hmm. If you search, each scent tag gives you one success. I do have scent. You have one scent. Yes, I do. Okay, I have one success already. 
Mm -hmm. Do you want to search for a hard discovery? <gasps> or mm. do you want to find out what happened here for a medium inquisition? Mm. Or do you want to just ignore the torn fabric and just go on your merry way? Oh, no, 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 no. We are, we are searching. I just don't know how I'm searching. Um, let's Quit, figure read. out what happened. Don't read. Figure out what happened. What? I can't grab those. No, I'm telling him not to read the tablet. I was reading the tablet. A little bit, just a little bit. What can't he see? Once you start clicking more. Oh, I'm yeah, not, I'm I not can't clicking. read. I'm not clicking more. So I'm going to grab two and then three black dice. What are you doing? I'll be doing the inv the uh, the book one. This one. Okay. Ah. <sighs> Come on! Oh, God! So that, that's a zero. Yes, it was. You realize you are not you don't have an automatic success either. Why not? It's only for search. Oh. When you aren't searching, you're figuring. Okay, let's do that then. Okay. Give me all the black dye then. At least I have one success. You could use the one purple. You could use the one pink. Oh, because it's a perception? Okay, got it. Okay, let's do it. Yeah! So three. Yeah! Anything else you're playing? I don't have... No, unfortunately I don't... I, well, I do have coffee. I could discard coffee. I could drink coffee. <laughs> so I can get two successes. Oh, you know what? Yes. Drink. Served hot to both calm you down and heighten your senses. I got two successes, so that's a total of five. Five plus. Scanning the area, you spot tracks. Following them, you're led to a cottage that on stilts, with the tracks going under the building. Dropping to all fours, you see a young frog curled up and feebly calling for help. Her dress matches the piece of fabric you found. You help her out of the hole and carry her back to the main road. She thanks you, but can barely say more, and is at risk of going into forced hibernation from the cold. No, I just spent coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting at the main road is a family of frogs on a wagon, who are calling out for her. They are relieved to find you. After giving you a quick reward, race off to town to find a doctor. Mm. You're confident she will make it and continue your journey. Oh, okay. You gain one prestige. Ooh. Give card 047 from the library to the adventurer. Ooh. If unable, give a random 200 instead. Ooh. Is that all I'm getting from this scene? This is going to be a specific piece of gear. He gets brooms. You get a broom. <laughs> I got a broom. Yeah! Return the drawn event to the bottom of the deck. End scene. Oh, okay. Okay. So sweeping pole, a tidy home is a source of pride for mongooses. Many other folks end up delaying cleaning as much as possible, often finding long lost items in the process. Why do we hand him? Hmm? Oh. I read for Jeff. You do read for Jeff. What are you doing? I'm gonna go. Hmm. I'm gonna move. Hmm. <laughs> I, I feel that whatever's on that location is pretty good. Market in the hot spring? Mm -hmm. What do you feel I is good I think you should move towards you where... Could get, you could get stronger things. I think you should move to a location where... I'm going to move out this way. Okay, so we're going to Are the you, mountains. You're on a mountain? Yep. All right. Zero, zero, five, it is Monday, though. Oh, Monday. is it Monday? Yeah. Never mind. One, one, oh. oh, okay. There we go. You were having a special Monday event. Huzzah! This only happens on Monday. <laughs> Late one night, as you are out and about, a white polecat gracefully steps before you, flanked by a group of goons. Hmm? You turn to steer away from the sinister trio, I but behind like you, event. a whole band of thugs emerge from the shadows. I look at them and I say, it was just Sunday. And they go, it's <laughs> Monday, you fool. Forming a living wall that traps you between the two groups. I am Tuvek, an intelligent officer of Gemstead, it, the polecat offers, as she... <laughs> Why does she state she's intelligent? <laughs> intelligence. She's an intelligence officer. And she shows, oh, okay. <laughs> and she shows you a piece of parchment. It bears a completely faithful and detailed drawing of your face. Oh, we what have, have you been doing? We have learned that you are a spy in service of oh, Rinchdom. 
plotting conspiracies against our empire. So if you value your life, you will come quietly. I feel they've confused you two. Two hex underlings pull out cruel looking weapons. Do you have a tired tag? No, I'm not tired. <laughs> I was just resting. All right. Why are you doing this on Sunday? <laughs> And Monday. Oh, the work week started, man. You gotta get raring to go. Are you going to convince her you are a double agent with a hard theater skill? Oh, okay. Or are you, you gonna fight your way through the underlings for a medium no. might skill? You gotta boast. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, or do you want to buy her loyalty oh. for twelve coins? Whoa! You could get a companion though. Loyalty, like maybe she'll stick with you because you got deep pockets. And a beautiful voice, from what I've heard. Hmm. Yeah, we're spending some coins. Yeah, yo, big spender. I mean, I wasn't given. I wasn't given fourteen for nothing. You weren't. You were given. This is destiny. White Fang would have done the same thing. All right. Whipping out a monstrous pile of coins, <laughs> you tell the thugs you will hire them to turn on the polecat. Oh wait, no, we misunderstood. We misunderstood that. <laughs> oh no, Jesse. Oh no, no. Two heck turtles at the notion. You think the loyalty of my agents can be bought so easily? They are as devoted to King Luron of Gimsed as I am. The thugs look at each other as if they have all reached the same conclusion. Actually, I am here because you pay me, which is very little, I might add. And Ibis Hireling speaks up. The thugs tie up Two Heck and accept the money you offer them. They promise to hold on to Two Heck until you get clear of the area, then let her go. Oh, she might come after you. I think you've the, confirmed that you are the spy. The thugs thank you, hand over the papers on you, and let you escape into the night. You gain one prestige. Okay. You get card 223. Okay. I think it's gonna be like a mark on your back. <laughs> so two twenty-three. Am I? Did I guess it? A wanted poster. I got it. <laughs> High self-confidence can be a dangerous weapon. Return the drawn zero seven eight card. And only I can use it. So you just have that. What did you do? Uh, have you seen me, man? I've seen some stuff. Well, hey, too does many. Does anyone have the event zero seven eight? No. No? No. No. Okay. Just return it back to the library and take 173 from the library and shuffle it to the... Oh, these are events. Return yeah. this to the library. Oh. And... Can never happen again. Take 173. Because the Monday event triggered. Ah, oh, so cool. And shuffle it into this deck. So I now have, I now have a poster of your face on it. <laughs> you do. And someone thought I looked like you. We can trade things in this game. So, Jesse, oh, you want to meet up, bruh? They want the Bumir? They no. want Bumir. Oh, yeah. Only Bumir can use this Oh, card. I'm the spy. So you have my spy book, you have my wanted poster, and I'm scotch-free. Sounds scene. like I'm doing my job well. End of scene. Huzzah! All right. You know what I'm going to do? What you gonna do? I'm gonna explore before I head over to sh to to Shun to meet up with to Shun. To to Shun. Actually, I am gonna move. I want to get there. See what's over there. So one, two. Ooh, grasslands. Grasslands. You know, the, so a game like Oath remembered itself by saving in an interesting way. Mm -hmm. This game remembers itself by Sammy just going, "I'm gonna give you a board game with like one board that has I don't know a whole world in it." And as you play, I'll just change things. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure if you can tell this on the camera, but these are cards. It's so cool. So they swap out depending on the story and what type of things you trigger on there. You might take out the card entirely. But it's not only that, because of these, the way mm -hmm. these are triggering, every little icon also has its own unique tie, too. So cool. And there's right, a lot of variability in there. Zero, yes. zero, six, three. I like to use the numbering, uh, like the typing feature. It's the best. The tedium of traveling through an oppressive thunderstorm is broken up by bruise-colored sky, opening up every minute, minutes of light to the world in pure white. As you walk, you notice an odd pattern to the strikes. The last few have all occurred in the same place. Three repeated bolts striking, the same location a few hundred meters away, behind a large clump of trees. Five minutes later, the same thing Again! 
Something there must be attracting lightning bolts. You can't help but think this is odd and possibly bad. Go investigate or ignore the phenomena. 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 Mm. Phenomena. No, no, no. I'm phenomena. Probably, I, I should investigate. Okay. I'll investigate. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't going to laugh. That was a good reference. Manana. The air is charged with electricity as you enter the clearing. A newly built cottage rests near a giant metal rod. The rod is five meters tall, supported by guy ropes, with supporting wires running towards the cottage. Hello there! shouts an oscillated lizard, flapping his arms as he runs from the cottage. I'm Professor Larnami from the Royal Academy of Gibson! He My is research very team loud. is conducting uh -huh, some experiments to measure electrical cloud shit! I mean, that professor is shockingly loud. Mm -hmm. He's running! Five quick bolts of lightning smash into the rod, and you and poor Professor Lanarni hit the dirt. The rod is attracting far more lightning than anticipated. Please help us, and quickly before we lose everything. Continue. If you pack, each scholar tag gives you one star or success. If I what? If you pack. The options are help pack the equipment or force the rod down. So if you have scholar somewhere, what are the what which ones what's this, the level of them? So it's going to be a medium lore check and then a medium strength check. So uh <laughs> neither. You got no scholarly scholarly tags up in there? No. Oh ho ho ho. ho. I'm I'm going with the uh, help pack the equipment cuz that's the only yellow you have. It's a uh, yellow? It's no. a green. Well, it's a complimentary to green, is what I mean. It's a medium The other one's complimentary by pink and yellow. Oh, yeah. No, 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 yeah. Hey, right. Jen, you know, it's this whole color wheel. Can complimentary I have color. Con I'm so That's glad cool. I taught it to you. Can I have a yellow and a pink? And yellow a and pink and three blocks. Okay, forcing that rod down. Good luck. I don't oh, remember my new dice rolling trick. Oh, come on. Well, that went horribly for it you. It did. Yeah, if I were you, I'd roll those dice. Yes, like God intended you to. Oh, well, not like that. <laughs> All right. Have you we, also did not have do Have we great. discussed as a community <laughs> not rolling dice like that? Have we Have we talked about that before? <laughs> Are we going to let her take back that roll or just no. leave it so no, that she, she remembers no this? successes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she deserved that one. Shira, I think you're out of the game. You're probably you going to get no struck. You have no points anymore. <laughs> So either one of two things are going to happen. We're, you're, somebody's going to enjoy fried chicken, or you're becoming a superhero. I'm not a chicken. Kingfisher. I'm a bird. Same difference. Tastes like chicken. Exactly. Thank you, Jesse. No. So, <laughs> you, with just two swords, you would have gotten it. You can just, yeah. There's a knob right here that'll just turn down just slightly. <sighs> the electrodes at the top of the rod are bathed in arcing faint blue flame. This seems like a bad sign, but you focus on trying to knock the rod down before another bu- You wake up inside the cottage. Among the ruins of instruments and supply crates. You've been out for ten minutes, says the professor. Your ears are ringing and there are some mirror burns, but you're otherwise unharmed. The bolt jumped to the support wires and ruined our instruments, but the important thing is you're unhurt. Oh, great. I don't believe him. The team lets you rest while they pack up their ruined gear. The lightning smashing the rod every few minutes until the storm passes. Give number 54 from the library to the adventurer. No. Oh. oh okay, no. So this applies to everyone. It's going to be a negative effect. Oh, I'm shocked. <laughs> oh, no. I'm stunned and weary. Your mind is haunted by your latest experiences and you can only wish you would have had acted differently. <laughs> you cannot utilize your skill marks. <gasps> oh, oh no. Oh no, that it is pretty bad. It lasts for three turns. That's pretty, pretty bad. No. And uh, Shira, return that card to haunt your dreams to the bottom of the deck. This could be great. Which one? The one you just got. This? Yeah, mm -hmm. to the bottom of the deck. Another discard pile, that works. Yeah, I've been making a discard pile. Or should we do bottom of the deck? It says bottom of the deck specifically. So this was the first one, this is the second. Yeah, okay. End of scene. Three. Thank you. Two, three. All right. It's the new day. 
One closer. Oh, happy day. One closer to getting rid of my shocked state. Jen's so gonna go to Shira, I think. Oh no no no! Who's, I read. For isn't you. my turn? Yes. Oh. He's just been having so much fun reading things. He's. Like, I have been having fun reading things. I'm going to. One two. Let's keep going to that objective, everybody. Let's You're not going to go to the ranger station? I'm not going to go to the ranger station. I have a quest already in mind. Okay. So, hit the me. The forest on number two. Oh, also it's Tuesday. All right. Forest 158. One. I'm going to try this thing. Look how convenient that is. There you go. I like scrolling more. Oh. On a forest road, the playful roars and yells of children reach you. Coming on your, up on your left is a house, fenced by a low stone wall. Pull out children are playing in the yard, both blocking the entrance gate. And the road is... <sighs> Sorry, I was showing you that <sighs> volume can moderate down. Oh. Yeah. Mm. You see how that works? No. That he was, was so running boring. from lightning. It was appropriate. Oh, fine. Okay. On a forest road, the playful roars there and yells of children reach you. Now I'm Coming interested. up on your left is a house, fenced by lone stone walls. Low stone walls. Polka children are playing in the yard, both blocking the entrance gate of the road and is a cart filled with failed degrees. The father of the children is leaning against the car, panting in exhaustion. He shuffles over to you. Could I bother borrow you? I got this new car for the works. But I did not real. This is too big for me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Could I borrow you? I got this new so car for the work. But I did not realize it's him who's turning the volume up and down. <laughs> I did not That's not how humans work. If it did, I would pull things more frequently. I did not realize that it is too big to fit through my front gates. If you could watch my little troublemakers for me until I'm done, I can get the work done in peace. Mm. Either that, or you could help me demolish the older gate pillars with wh while I watch the kids. Do you have game tag? No, unfortunately I don't. I was So uh... you can't play a game with the kids. Force mm. the pillars up from the ground mm. for a medium strength difficulty. Okay. Recall childhood plays for an easy green check. You just said force, didn't you? I did. Oh, you know what I'm doing? Using that rope, baby. Okay, Such a ahead. sturdy rope. Okay, so I'll be rolling one of these. Please hand me the other yellow once you can. That rope is actually very useful. It is amazing. Uh, yep, exactly all of this. Thank you very much. Shira. Mm. That's how you make a roll. <laughs> yes. Three successes and you can re-roll up to three. That's obnoxious. Four successes. <laughs> Four plus. Is that oh. the max? Yep. Yeah. It's not long until you have both pillars uprooted. Now there is plenty of room for the timber carrying wagon to be backed in. You finish well before the father comes to check up on you, yawning and spent from playing with the kids. Oh, wow. You got both pillars out. You just saved me so much work. Sleepily, he tosses you a pouch of gold, moving his wagon into their yard. The road is no longer blocked. You tell the father to get some rest and head off. You gain one prestige. You gain eight gold. Return the drawn event to the bottom of the event deck. End scene. Hmm. So eight gold and another prestige. I'm catching up, Jesse. Not for long. You're not the only one making waves. Where are you here. going? Moving to Yazden. And I'm going to visit Janaka's firm. 0143. Where's the notice board? Right I was wondering here. the same. Oh. That's the notice board with the event. Interesting. There's another one there for you as dinner. Are you going to pick it up? And do I read this or no? I don't believe so. We're just going to read from that story text queue, mm -hmm. right? All right. In Tashun. Uh, another one. Put another, put that one in. Oh, there's Tishun. two in Tashun now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shira, good for you. Okay. Following your only lead, you make your way to alluring shrubs and herbs. Jaunka's, Jaunka's company. <laughs> it is a fairly small building located some way off the city center, and as one might have guessed, seems to deal in spices and various flavors of ornamental plants. Wondering if you should just slip in and look around, you peek inside the front lobby. It seems quite busy. There's an aardvark clerk behind the counter, a number of customers, and a couple of workers hurriedly carrying boxes to and from a door to the side. Surely enough, a placard on the door says they're hiring. Perhaps that's your way in. Do you want to try to get a job? Or, for a medium pink ability, sneak inside the building. What's the try to get a job? Nothing. What about, does it have the word, so sneak inside the building specifically? Yep. Oh. I thought it would, might involve, like, unlocking a door. 
Mm. I want to try to get a job. <laughs> you march in and tell the cook you're here for the job offer. He sizes you up curiously before leading you through a curtain door behind the desk. Inside, you find a lynx sitting behind a large wooden desk amidst rows of plants and boxes. She gestures you to sit and introduces herself as Jaunka before shooing the lingering clerk back to work. From the noise, nosy look on his face, you're sure that he'll be listening behind the curtain. Hmm. Business has been blooming lately, Jaunka says after a while, gesturing, gesturing to her cramped office. She looks at you appraisingly before continuing. I might have, indeed have work for you. Happen to have any skills or prior experience in our field? Do you have a training tag? I don't think you do. No. No. Do you want to recall your cultivating skills for an easy book? Or convince her you are a nice person, medium theatrics? <laughs> I'm going medium theatrics. <laughs> of course you are. Oh, Lugan. Skills, no, but I'm a good guy. Oh, you re roll. You, 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 you. And you got the double book, man. Oh, you got the double book again. Uh, it's not oh, books. Oh, no, looking you're for. looking for. Well, you got two theatrics this time. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, no, that's a recall action. Thief roof. Unlock would be what triggers that, right? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, two. Uh oh. Not my best move. Do you want money? <laughs> you got what? Two point? <laughs> Janko seems a bit stiff at first, but soon, but soon even cracks a rare smile, huh? listening to your jovial self-description. It doesn't oh, take me. Look at these frills. <laughs> it doesn't take long for you to convince her that just your company would have a positive impact on the worker morale. She tells you to ask around if others need help. There's oh. always something to do after all. You got a job. Despite the rush. Jaunka's company seems a pretty nice place to work at. Almost nice enough to distract you from your objective. Bidding your time, your chance presents itself as Jaunka starts to leave for lunch. Do you want to chat with the workers about Jaunka, medium theater, or search the office hastily? Hard eyeballs. Eyeballs is where it's at, but I've got to go theater just to try to <laughs> succeed something. Hey, you got to play your character, man. Ooh. Oh, wait, what were we looking for? Re We're not looking for eyeballs. <laughs> We're looking for theater. <gasps> Three. Hey, there we go. I'll That's good. It. I'll take it. It's got to be something good Interesting. here. Interesting. Mm. So it gave the option for eyeballs. Either way. If you had eyeballs. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but like, oh. one plus eyeball, huh. So based on whatever oh. you roll, it's telling you what type of task it is, but hey, coincidentally. So there was a chance I could have done theater or just eyeball. That's cool. I like cool. that. I think theater is still the better option. Because it, it makes the result a surprise. A bit, yeah. <laughs> so, uh -oh. one, so one plus would they be like... They have two different options. It's so cool. All right. You will you chose theater. I like it. Like it quite a lot. You chat up the workers and nimbly guide the conversation towards Janka. Turns out they have quite a bit to complain about. Notably, the old kangaroo who oversees the warehouse has grievances regarding her carelessness. I knew it. <laughs> just a couple weeks back, she looked She over just hired you off the street, so you, you would have to. You don't know what I know. <laughs> just a couple weeks back, she looked over the warehouses while I had a day off. And when I came back, my inventory was all messed up. Mm. Can you believe it? A whole barrel of lamp oil was missing. When the day is over, you snatch up the warehouse inventory before leaving. Insurance claim? You gain one prestige. Return oh. smoldering wood from the adventurer to the library. She tried to break someone out of prison. Give 252. Oh, spicy. Your story continues. From the library to the adventurer, the partner. Oh, you could have had a partner. Where did it say that? My card probably said that. Okay. If you ever see the handshake. If I do see the handshake. <laughs> I'm doing this on my own. <laughs> yeah, but we're super far away from your you Your partner anyways. would have gained a prestige. End of scene. Oh. Okay. Go, Jan. Sheeta. All right. I'm moving in here. Oh, I bet you are. I'm picking up these two. I bet Tishun, you are. To Shun. Stuff to do. All right. And we are out of events, guys. Oh, wow, really? 
Our tom, tom, tom. and obviously prototype components. Once again, Correct. everyone. Sarawar. Okay. They did warn us that if <laughs> playing with three players, we might run out. So. If someone wasn't hoarding events over there. <laughs> no, no. I right. have a few. Where am I? <laughs> All right. Please. Is anyone there with me? No. All right. Please do zero zero nine zero. So ninety. Violet Arms Mercenary Camp lies deep within the ruined town, and as you approach the guard post, you eye the imposing wall that still stands on this side. Flying over would have been tough with all the gear you're carrying, but luckily, you don't have to. They're not your enemies. In fact, you're here to ask for their help. Do you have the Roamer tag somewhere? No, and I'm not going to do very well because I can't really? use any of my skill marks. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh. I don't. As she promised, Nara is waiting for you there, taking, talking to some guards outside the camp. She looks tired, but happy to see when she waves you over. Uh, this escort you mentioned? One of the two guards asks, looking you over. Why should we let her to see the boss? Uh, yeah, you need to show us what you can do first. Another continues, pointing at the wall surrounding the camp. Climb that and we'll might take you. Nara simply shrugs at you, signaling she'll let you handle it. Give number 281 from the library to the adventurer. Mm-hmm. Sure. Oh, Shira, Shira, Shira. Sure. I don't think you're equipped for most of these. I don't either. <laughs> oh, okay, so Nara's back with Nara's you. Nara's back! She's Roamer. She flies. Five. She's the Roamer. Okay, so you would have been able to skip all of this mm -hmm. initiation thing. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't lost her. Mm -hmm. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Sunday fun day. Oh, right, so I can't do anything till Thursday, though. Ah, Shira, will you climb over the wall for a yellow test, How? hard difficulty, no. or intimidate the guards with your boastfulness, theatrical, skill check of medium? <laughs> Either yellow? Yellow or blue. Yellow hard and blue medium. Hmm. What, did, what were the terminologies it used? Climb over the wall, or intimidate the guards. Yellow is the hard one? Mm-hmm. I don't think I have much success, however, in the yellow checks, I would get one automatic success and I could reroll up to two die. Are you able to use those, though? It says I can't use my skill marks. Mm. I have to use all black die. Oh, nasty. Yeah, that's my problem oh, right now. Oh, wow. I don't have any of my special skills. I misunderstood. I thought it was the uh, the tags for whatever no, reason. No, my skill marks. So, what Ooh. do you guys think? Um, anything you can do to reroll will probably be the best bet. All right, five black you dice, agree? please. Well, Shira, it was nice knowing you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I feel like you're gonna fall off that wall. <laughs> All right, I'm looking for tents. You got one, one tent, and you already and have, have an automatic already success. Automatic success. And um, you can reroll how many? I can reroll up to two. Do I reroll all of them, though, is the question. And then reroll two afterwards? Yeah. Yeah? I mean. I mean, it's a one in six chance. Yeah, one in we'll six. Try this. Not a... Wait. Another one. Okay. Another one. Okay, so, so it didn't do any worse. Yeah, exactly. So, so far I've got two. So which of those feel like tens to you right they now? They are all equal. <laughs> hey, three. you got three. That's not bad. No, actually that's a medium outcome. So good job, Shira. With tremendous effort, you find enough cracks in the weathered wall to slowly climb the otherwise smooth surface. You manage to reach the top, however, and descend back down to the impressed guards. Not bad, rookie, one says. You might make a decent mercenary. This way, the other continues. The boss wants to see, I, I forgot the voice I made. 
The boss wants to see you now, say. I'll wait here. I'll wait here. That that was close to Nara. Nara says, shooing you forward. You've never made that voice before. I know. It's, it's so confusing. I can't keep up with the voices I make. Inside a lone falcon who introduces himself as Garu. I heard about Ringstone, he says. But don't worry. Those thugs have caused trouble for us as well, so we'll take care of them. You ask how he knows about that, but he just smirks. I like to stay informed, Isela. Now, was there anything else? You insist to take part, which seems to humor him somewhat. The two of us are birds of a feather, very well. We've intercepted some of their equipment, including this coded letter. Show me what you can do. Crack the code in the letter for an easy lore check, or search the equipment for a medium perception check. Easy lore check. Because you can't do nothing else. I can't. What is it? So it was Crack lore? the code. Or what was the yeah, other one? Easy, easy lore or medium perception. It doesn't matter. It's search and crack, I think, are the verbs that you're looking for. I don't have either. Okay. Good luck. Just need a single book. Okay, you got a single book. Just need one book. No, no, no. I don't know. I'm I know, assuming. I know. Um, it's probably two, right? Maybe. Hmm. One and six. I don't know if I want to re-roll them all. I think we're gonna stick with my one. Man, that lightning. Oof. You got it, Shira. You're fine. You have some experience with this stuff, and you inspect the letter closely, trying to figure out a pattern in the code. You can't figure out everything, but you're pretty sure it's supposed to be an order, and says something about infiltration. Giru looks thoughtful as he considers the news, but before he says anything, you hear shouting from outside. As soon as you step outside, a mercenary runs to Geru, telling him that something happened at the guard post. Garou rushes forward and you follow after him, towards the post where you just were. The post is a mess, and one of the guard lies on the ground, wounded, but still conscious. Boss, she says she was with the vultures, he shouts, and she took an arrow. <laughs> You're just losing arrow all the time. Garou observes the surroundings with a grim look on his face before turning to you. If we didn't, ha if we didn't have a common enemy before, we do now. They attacked my camp. And they'll pay for that. Return Nara, 281, from the adventurer to the library. Now, do you have the mercenary tag somewhere? No. Mm, no. Okay. I'll send one of our own with you. If you want revenge, come to Azembi. They have a base there. Likely Nara as well. And I'm going to crush them there. Gain two prestige. Oh, finally. <laughs> and return a friend in need, 268, from the adventurer to the library. Give a random 149 from the library to the adventurer. And you said, finally... You said which one number? 149? Yeah, one, a random 149. And then give 272 from the library There's to only the... only two. Pick one for me. That one. Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> I have a shark deck. I've got a little owl. All right, he's got night vision. Okay, that's cool. Okay. And he's a mercenary, and he flies. For four days, though. For four days. <laughs> Seven. Uh, if you had a partner in this uh, in this little endeavor of yours, we would have gained two prestige. Would have been nice. I would have totally helped you out. End of scene. Cool. Move on to the Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. Did we not move it to Tuesday? I don't think we did last time. Okay. It's been three turns so far, right? We started Sunday. So, Monday, Tuesday, and this is Wednesday. Yeah, I think we're on Wednesday. Right? Mm. Didn't you do a... No, you did a Monday last turn. Did it say anywhere where I was supposed to be going? In there? She's... Yes, they said that it. they're, they're in Hazembe. Hazembe? Like the base. If you want Nara specifically, you go to Hazembe. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is going to be pretty easy for me. I'm just going to keep moving towards my objective. So that's going to be it. A hill? Yep, the hill. All right. 
213. You and your scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. At the crest of the road, you see a pair of elephant shrews watching a nearby tower that is connected to. Do you have a royal tag? I, I don't. Okay. No. Sneak up on the wagon. Recall what you know about the building or wish them luck. It's going to be a hard thievery check or an easy insight knowledge check. Oh, man, the thievery sounds pretty good right now. You mm-hmm. want to sneak or you want to recall? Or wish them luck. He doesn't have any of the keywords. I don't have the keywords, unfortunately, but I do have at least one proficiency in sure. sneaking. Going for it. Oh, and the other one is an easy lore check. Recall what you know about the building. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? Let's sneak it. Let's let's see what happens. Sneaky. Sneakity sneak sneak. One of this, and then three black, please. Three black mice. Ooh. <laughs> you gotta reroll. Ooh, no, 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 no. This is very bad stuff. Oh, come on! Zero. You try to sneak up on the wagon. You get caught and sent to jail. What? Come on! I love how blunt it is. You're wanted after all. I am wanted. Give card 051 from the library to the adventurer. Move your figure to the closest settlement. Higher location numbers break ties. Oh, you're imprisoned. You cannot pick up quests, move, trade, or assist. I don't know how long. Oh, you have to go to jail. He's got to. to... So you see how it's purple? Purple means immediate. You cannot do anything else until you accomplish that. But that'll be his event next turn, right? Yep. (laughs) My turn. And see. Where's the event that you were doing? I think it said to return it. To the bottom. I don't have it. Jesse has it. Oh, it was here. Okay. So. Hmm. What you doing? Hmm, checking. Everything's a little bit too far away. I need to be able to move faster. Hmm. Well, you can grab a nice boat. Travel halfway across the map. I'm going to move two back, going to a forest location for the next event card. Is it Saturday? No. Okay. 207. While enduring the tedium of a winding forest road, the air is curiously riddled with gobbles. Your interest spurns you to leave the established road, head towards the funny sounds. Three turkeys are, at a mad speed, running around the base of a tree, as if in deranged pursuit of one another. They seem oblivious to the outside world, only focusing on chasing each other. Several traveling packs have been scattered across the ground, leaking papers and land surveying apparatuses. You expect this to end at any moment, but as the seconds drag on to minutes, you begin to worry. What on earth are they doing? They have to stop at some point, right? You try to talk to them, but they ignore you. Do you have perception tag? I don't have perception. Okay. Do you want to intimidate them to stop with the medium? Only you can use this. That. Oh, or do you want to recall your odd behaviors with a hard book? Yeah, I'm going to do the... Uh... You're intimidated. Or do you want to let the birds be? No, nah, I want I want them to stop. I'm going to say, hey, hey, you birds, stop. We're going to re-roll. We got a one there. Ooh, three. Three, okay, not bad. Okay. Not bad at all. You hit the birds with the most scary thing you can do. It breaks their odd race around the tree, but scatters them across the woods, giving shrill shrieks as they crash into branches and ramble. I hate letting my frills out like that. <laughs> <laughs> with panic thrashing, the birds commit all their remaining energy into one blind struggle as they try to fight their way through the branches and undergrowth before passing out. <laughs> well, at least they're out of that strange loop. All by wounded and unconscious, you go collect all of their limp bodies and line them up for turkeys as so they can have a proper rest. Their oh leader regains consciousness for a moment, thanking you for helping them. Before she drifts off to sleep, she mumbles about seeing a snake in the grass. You gain one <laughs> prestige. <laughs> That's what they were doing. They were got flustered because of a snake. <laughs> That's it. 
Well. Ay, ay, ay. That was a thing. All right. I'm glad I got to help some chickens. Yeah, you, you didn't get a meal out of it, though. Yeah, that's true. Shira. All right. Where are we going? Don't don't want to go places. You're very hurt. I'm very hurt for one more for this round. Next round, I get to get rid of it. Try to avoid bad things. Mm-hmm. You're you're also technically heading towards me, so hey, maybe you can help me escape. No, I don't no. want to meet you there. Oh, I'm gonna you can fly. Do it with friends. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm going to fly. I'm discarding this. When traveling, you may discard to gain plus four movement. Oh, Return interesting. Return any companions without flight back to the library. If I'm restricted, oh, I'm not restricted. I'm just stunned and weary. And your and your companion also knows how to fly, right? Yeah, my my Jardek knows how to fly. Oh, so you can help me. Welcome to his envy. Who said I was going there? You're, that's she's, where she's Nera totally, is. She's totally not going there. I wasn't planning on wasting that on that. <gasps> Poor Nera. Okay, well. Fine. I thought you were friends. Fine. Although, if you go here, you could trigger your own event, and he could ask you for help on his event. Yeah, that's what And I you could get prestige. That was what I was thinking. All right, I'm going to his envy. Yay! Did it say where in his envy they were? The mines, docks, market? Oh, darn. I don't. I actually don't remember that. Mm. Nope. I don't remember that. I'm sorry. All right. I'll check out the market. One, 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 five. So we know there were a a band of thugs that raided. What makes the most, the market or docks, right? Okay, maybe, yeah, maybe you got lucky. Maybe I'll try the docks, actually. You sure? Yeah. Markets make sense to me, too. Okay, so 13. You enter into the city's hall, but was situated on the banks of the mighty Iroga River. Does your card trigger one? Hmm? Does your card have a trigger on it? Mm Mm-mm. You don't have a secret quest that that we didn't give you any secret quest from from that guy, right? Right. Hmm. You just gave me Jardic. Cool. Okay. I bet one of these one of these locations asks if you have the uh, the mercenary keyword. Yeah. So you just have to search, search, search. Ah, I might have been the mines. I think it was the mines, Shira. Was it? I think so. You want to change? Yeah. Okay. Let's try the mines. Although we can't change after this one. Correct. <laughs> okay. So I think it might be the mines. Let's see. So this is a work in progress thing, and it doesn't request for mercenary. So maybe not this. I I don't know. Arriving at the mines, you are greeted by the passive pithead. Do you want to do the mines or the dock? Mines. Okay. Because he's already done the dock. Arriving at the mines, you are greeted by the massive pit head reaching to the sky, the scramble of office buildings around it, and curiously, a noisy congregation of dirty-faced workers. Getting closer, you gather that they are protesting their pay, working conditions, and the quality of their equipment, at least based on the slogans they occasionally shout. Look for work, or mingle with the workers. I like the approach. I mean, that is how a minor strike works. Mm-hmm. You get a lot of new people come in, and they're like, uh, I'll take the job. Mm-hmm. I'm going to look for work. After asking around, you are directed to the head miner's office in one of the larger buildings. In the office, you meet a tired-looking mole in a miner's helmet. He seems quite annoyed, but perks up after a bit after explaining you're looking for work. I'll take any help I can get, he says, shaking his head. I've quarters to meet, and my miners have been nothing but travel ever since that permittivo fellow came by. I'm no good at this stuff. Well, you think about it, he adds hopefully. Or how about you talk to the workers while I take a relaxing shift down below? Continue. Do you have a light or pick tag? What is it? Light or pick tag? No. I flight. No. Work in the mines. That's it. Or negotiate with the workers for a medium theater check. Work in the mines? Oh, wow. Descending into the mines, you find quite a few workers still toiling there, and they're happy to show you the ropes. After you get your work underway, however, you begin to realize the miners' gripes aren't minor at all. If anything, they were underselling their complaints about the equipment, the poor quality seriously undermining your progress. It's hard work, and the shoddy tool gives you trouble every step of the way. Regardless, you persevere, and after several hours surface with a decent haul. As you return to his office, the head miner keeps lamenting how poorly the talks with the workers are progressing. 
Nevertheless, he compensates you for your effort before sending you on your way. You get eight coin. Eight oh, coin, yes. Shira. Not bad at all. Okay. Shira does not have a bad token anymore. Really, I'm not, not a bad token. Jesse, pair. please read me 101. Why do I get the feeling that I missed out on something amazing? 101. Do you have a partner? I do. Shira, would you like to be my partner? Sure. Yeah. You're sitting on the bleak prison cell, your gear confiscated. The guard, a huge brown bear snorting, snoring loudly, the sound echoing through the cell block's corridor, while your friend is on the other side of the barred window. You can use your item with a weapon tag. Nope. If the adventurer unlocks, the partner cannot help them during the skill check. So, unlock the cell while your partner distracts the guard, or force the windowed bars open together. This has a shiny little sparkle on it. I assume that means you should do that one. Well, I, if he unlocks it, I cannot help him. Mm-hmm. But she's going to distract the guards, which means it's easier to do now. Okay, let's do it. Okay. <sighs> oh, come on. Get me out of here, please. What? what wait, wait, wait. What are Why you doing? Why are you rolling a blue? Hmm? Why are you rolling blue? I, I I meant to grab something different. Let's see, Jen, there's a thing called a color wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jesse. Hey, there we go. Four. After a while, your friend is in the guard's office carrying on loud and very distracting conversation. <laughs> you easily twist open the lock and snatch your gear while the idea of freeing some other prisoners comes over you. Instead of just one fugitive to look for, they'll have a bunch and it might very well cover your track, so you break open their cells as well. <laughs> you, wait for your you wait for your friend in a nearby alleyway until they finally arrive, all puffed up, recounting the amazing story they just had to finish telling the guard. You, your accomplishment will surely be all over tomorrow's news. Nice. You gain one prestige. Okay. Your partner gains one prestige. Okay. You're going to return in prison to the Adventurer's Library. Your partner is going to gain card 061 from the library. So you return this. Mm. Return that, and you're going to get a card 061. I assume you're getting in trouble. Inner fire. I am not in trouble. Oh. I'm heated. I'm a beat. Oh. One's mood has clear correlation to their performance. If I take part in a book, theater, or I skill check, I discard it. I can sneak. I can fight. I can climb. You're super excited. She's super proud of herself. I am. Though. I helped. I helped. Nice. And I Hang got on. a point. End scene. Okay. Okay. Not bad. You got to find your people. I'm Kira moving fast. into here. And I'm going to trigger event 0144. What is it? 0144. Hmm. 144. While in the sawmill's office's waiting room, you notice a female lynx is seated by you, holding a book to her chest. You are trying not to stare, but you feel like you have seen her somewhere before. She kind of looks like Shalunka, and you ask her if she is related. I'm her sibling, a Hinka. By I'm... the way, Those one mine. of mine. So these at the end say place in the notice board. Where's the one that I did before? I think we archived Do it. Do you remember what number it was? It was the one right before this. You would have you would have archived it, I think. Yeah, what are these number series? Alright. I think it was 148. So the reason being is it seems like some quests, after you do them once, become available to other people. Oh, place it on the notice board. But I think it's face up. Mm-mm. No? Yeah. Notice on notice boards always are face down. Okay. So that's now someone else could go pick that up. And Shabar. So that's how things get back to them. Yeah. Cool. Hmm. Okay, All right. cool. Because this one does something different, which I think is neat. Okay. I'm her sibling, Ohinka. I'm trying to prove my big sister's innocence, and I got all the evidence I need right here, she claims, holding up her book. It is her old diary. I know I can prove Rovun is the real criminal here. The hitch is, she explains, the diary is written in some form of code. You any good at cracking those? Mm-hmm. Her mission seems genuine. Beings, I got a bunch of keys. But you have a feeling she knows more than what she's letting on. I'm do you want to decipher the diary with a green, easy green skill check, or do you want to intimidate a Hinka to reveal what she's hiding? The medium theater. 
We're going theater again. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Do I re-roll or do I take a two? I need more items. I'm gonna re-roll. Oh no, bro. No, 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 no. <laughs> She's definitely not intimidated by you. I'm gonna not have I mean, re roll. What about this? I can't use it. It's only his card. Oh. Only Vermeer can use this card. Jesse, if you were in my location, we could trade. Okay. Hitting a Hinko with your most intimidating posturing employee does not have much effect on her. I'm afraid I just have no idea what you're talking about, Lynx performatively huffs while pinning her steely gaze to you. Before you can try again, she just abruptly turns and leaves. Without further input from Ahenka, you surrender the evidence to Edrosia, a snowy owl. With a delighted smile, she promises justice will be served and gives you a reward for your assistance. You gain four dollars. Thank you. <laughs> Return that to the library. Epic. Return this small learning wood to the library. Is that what it says down there? Yeah, and shuffle 188 into the event deck. 188? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. 6, 87, 88. So the event deck's being populated. Can you shuffle, please? Mm hmm. And this goes back into the library. Put that away after. If you had a partner, you could have succeeded better. And every... Alright. End of scene. Oh, come on. I just took... <laughs> Did you really think you were going to have more things to do after? No, I thought I was going to get some prestige from oh. solving a crime. No, you got some money. <laughs> well, you, you delivered some paper, paper successfully. I delivered evidence of her trying to burn down a factory in order to free someone from prison. And that's why we got to do that again. Because we can do it right. All right. I'm going to check out the market. Oh, I'm so sorry that I don't remember, Shira. So we just took a moment to realize that Jan should read things carefully. Uh, I was in the moment. I miss some words here and there. Jan misses whole numbers and story arcs, apparently. <laughs> Uh, you were supposed to actually have a card when you came over here to yeah. the village. Zembi, yeah. So but luckily you got to go to the mines last turn. But I didn't accomplish anything in the you mines. You got eight money. Excuse me. Oh, fine. I know. Okay. It's a lot better than I did. <laughs> you got what? Four dollars? I need zero zero nine four, please. Nine four. Okay. So nine four. This is going to be the base of the potential burglars or mercenaries. Approaching the designated meeting spot, you see the violet arm mercenaries already in position, ready to storm the vultures gang's base. You feel like running away, like you've done so many times, but no. In those times, nothing good would have come from staying. There was something on the line. You see Garu as well, observing the sizable building in the distance and the several guards posted at front. You approach him and ask if he has any other instructions. Go in and do things your way, he says, smiling wickedly. That's what you adventurers do, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. We'll move on your marker, sailor, he adds before turning away. Is he still testing you? Unlock the side door for medium. Hey, if we could only collaborate on this. Because I li Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm not Jesse. <laughs> or fight your way through. Hard. So it's going to be a medium thievery check for the unlocking the side door. Or fight your way through for a hard might check. So you could have someone collaborate. But did it, did it not have a collaborate trigger? It does not seem to have one, no. Okay. What is it? Um, so unlock the side door for a medium pink. Unlock or fight? Or fight for a hard orange. Fight. Oh, okay. Fight your way through it is. I have a pink and a yellow. Pink, pink, and yellow. And three black ones. Do you want to clear off the board of die? I automatically get one star. From Just my, one? My, from my inner fire. Just one. Ooh. So far. Okay. I'm looking for swords. Even yeah. I don't have anything else to mitigate. All right. And you're discarding that card afterwards, right? No. It says, if I take part in any of these skills, discard it. Oh, and you didn't take part in any of those skills. Got it. 
Oh, ho, ho. One, two. Nice. You're going to keep that? I think that's my best shot, honestly. Three. Mm -hmm. And you are right in assuming that was your best shot because that's exactly what you needed. Time to teach these thugs a lesson. You give the signal, and at once dozens of mercenaries are at your side, and together you charge the entrance. The guards sound a desperate alarm before engaging you in combat. Together with reinforcements, they manage to halt your progress for a moment. But you aren't to be stopped like this, and you consolidate your strength for a second assault which pierces through, getting you past the defenders. You can do this. You enter the base, only to see the back door swing open as one of the vultures rushes out towards the city. And he's carrying your tied-up friend with him! Nora! Run after them for a medium survival skill check, or follow them from a distance for a medium perception mm. check. Perception is the purple? Mm-hmm. Uh, so, in perceptions, I get one automatic. And I could re-roll one and convert book into a star. However, if I take part in a perception, I lose this. Mm. Oh. Mm. You got a chance to do like a five. I do perception. I lose my inner fire. All right. Yeah, because she needs to relax a little bit. I need two purple, please. Paper. All right. What else? That's it. I got my pink. Oh, just paper. All right, I automatically get one. Okay. And what am I doing? Perception. You're observing them from a distance. Am I observing? Yes. Oh, and I can also re-roll. Yeah. Nice. So I can re-roll three die after this. Besides, okay. Solid. Let's see. I need this. That's a bad roll. I would re-roll all of it. It's a bad roll. And you could redo your base. Yeah, just the I'm entire thing. Yep. Okay, sort of better. Still bad. Felt the same. <laughs> All right. Roll three, I though. already get one. Are there any yep. books there? No, not so far. All right, I'm going to re-roll these two for here. You can re-roll th up to three or two? I can re-roll up, re up to two, and then I can re-roll up to one mm. over oh, here. So I'm going to okay. do these one at They're two different yep. cards, so I, think I can redo the purples. Come on. Okay, and you're going to do the other purple now. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Okay, we're at four. Pretty good. Four. Okay. You got it. You got the maximum. You're good. Okay. You do what you do best and err on the side of caution, keeping a careful eye on the vulture while you follow him through the outskirts of the town. You watch him closely, looking for an opportunity, and when he lowers Nara for just a moment to look around, you swoop in and release her from her bonds. I think you should keep that card handy. <laughs> I should just keep Nara handy? Yeah. She keeps popping up. <laughs> yeah. You pull Nara, Nara up, and she thanks you briefly before you turn to face the suddenly cornered vulture together. I surrender, he says, rising his wings up while darting his eyes between you. Kick him, or tie him up. What are the... Oh, and there's nothing else. Kick him, or... I'm gonna tie him up nicely. Mm. You don't need to resort to petty vengeance. You've already won. You simply tie him up and start escorting him back to the base. Nicely done, Garo says as you arrive, and he gives you a nod before returning to overseeing the cleanup. He's right, Nara says, and gives you a warm hug. You did very well, like a great adventurer would, she winks at you. But I'd still like to watch over you for a while. What do you say? Sure. That suits you just fine. You gained who prestige, so you're now tied with Jesse. Yay! Now, give 290 from the vault. This is a new thing to the adventurer. What is it? The vault. 290? Instead of the library, yeah. So, I don't believe we have that card. Hmm. Oh, no, we do. It wasn't It's in supposed the vault. to be a good one. It's an upgrade to Nara. Oh. oh. Look at her. It I think that's a permanent one now. <laughs> like a hood off and everything. That's awesome. Mm. Oh, uh, Shira, uh, have, uh, was I your partner on this? No. Apparently we could have partnered. You didn't do anything. Shira, can we just partner whenever we want, regardless of no. there's icons? No. no, no, this had the partner symbol there. I did mention that. 
You s why didn't you partner with me? Because I succeeded by myself. Why didn't you ask me in the first place? But I didn't it's need true. to. So here, her, she gets, put in, she gets put into the save spot afterwards. Mm. Instead of getting put back. Shira, I'm disappointed in you. You didn't count on me for help. I'm so sad. Why didn't you? One, two, three, four, five. Wait, did we just move here? Yeah, we just moved to Friday. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm so sad. Okay, so I am now going to do one of my things. So, Jesse. Were those the only cards I got? Yes. Two, two prestige. It was two and things. And Nara. It was two things. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, you just accomplished your intro mission. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Jesse, one thirty. Within the city of Hezambi, you arrive at the head office of the Millennium Foundation. When you enter, you tell a porter at the front that you are here to see Urin on behalf of Sorg. A mongoose valet is assigned to you. The porter clarifies that all outsiders must be escorted. The mongoose bows. Right this way, please. She takes you through the halls until you reach a meeting room with a giant panda in it. Make it quick. I'm in no mood to listen to any more drizzle. Erin states after the mongoose steps outside. You ask her why the Millennium Foundation has ceased funding of Archon University. Because we have. Erin <laughs> unhelpfully answers with his barely restrained ver 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 verliance. How will you win her over? I Do you have, have the advisor tag? Uh -uh. Convince Erin of your good intentions, a medium theater check, uh -uh. or figure out why Erin is upset, a medium what knowledge check. What are check. you accomplishing over here? You're just doing... A I'm quest. doing one of my, my specialty quests. Your specialty quest? Does it say a partner on it? Are there a hand symbol? Yes. I don't want your help. You don't want my help? Fine. No, because you're going to win. Fine. If we do this you correctly. You need my help? Maybe I do need your help. Just let me know. I'm here. Yes, what do you think should I ask for her help? What, was the, what was the word she you were looking for? Why can't she help me? Advisor. She can help me on everything else. I do not have an advisor. She doesn't have an advisor. No, but I could use her skills. Yeah, but she, she doesn't, doesn't have any she of the things have I need. blue or green anyway. Yeah, sure. I'm, uh, I'll just die on this yeah, by myself. Yeah, but I roll dice. No. What do you mean you get to roll no, dice? I believe I have a partner. I get to roll my set of... You get to lo lend your skills. Uh, yeah, 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 skill marks. Uh, no, okay, so medium theater, and then the other one was lore. Mm hmm. So we're gonna I do, do a lore check. I do have convince. I could re you could re roll up to two. Dice. I have re rolled, I have convinced too. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, but you want another two. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm good. Okay, <laughs> when you lose. You're, I probably will. You're devil. <laughs> you're not wrong, Shira, I probably will. Oh. You have one. Uh, well, I'm going to re-roll all of it. You doing them all? Yeah. Okay. Why are you rolling? What are you trying to accomplish? Well, I need Find out why you're upset. A more. book? Okay. Yeah. Because yellow have at least two books on them. I mean, okay, better. It's better. a better roll, but you didn't get anything for yellow, so I'd use your one re-roll for one of those yellows. Yeah. And we're and yellow has you two, of two, two books. Yeah. No, I can only re-roll re -roll one. It's not as good as yours. I can reroll up to two. Oh, we know. <laughs> Ow! So you just want to two. use my reroll? We're not partnering. What I get? Outcome? Two. Got two. While arguing with Urin, you hear Urin, you hear something faintly, a mudded, wet grumble. When you hear it again, you notice that Urin looks embarrassed, but quickly hides the expression. After a long while of arguing with her, you deduce that the sound is her stomach growling. <laughs> of course, most folks are cranky on an empty stomach. You ask her if she's eaten today and replies by groaning. Perhaps if you help me with my problem, I can help you with yours. You should have saved your coffee for her. Oh, continue. You're not wrong. <laughs> Erin takes you to her office, which is buried in mounds of paperwork. She grumpily points at a safe. I changed my combination for it recently, and I forgot what it was. I wrote it down on a note a while ago, but forgot where I put that stupid note. You ask her what is in her safe. An old contract I need to renew so I can import fresh bamboo from Pandaloo. But I'm leaving soon for the day, so make it snappy if you're going to help. <laughs> Unlock the safe, a thievery on hard, or search for the note 
a theater on medium. Thievery. Okay. If you want so my search. help, I can give you two. Oh, I don't need your help. Two you said dice. search, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, it's search for the note or unlock the safe. I have a get one. and No, no, we're going to do a search, Jesse. Doing a search? Because I have a broom. I can clean up all the things I don't need. Okay, so you're rolling all the black dice. And now I'm not feeling so confident. Go ahead. Why not one purple, one pink? Because it's it's, it's perception. Oh, it's perception. Not, yeah, right. not theta. Don you, Anderson. If you want my help, I can give you two purple. No, I'm fine. Purple, yeah. literally, you're. It's no. too late at this point. Yeah, we're already in the middle of the thing. Mm. Hey, oh, beautiful! I already got three. Three. And I'm gonna re-roll one. How'd you get three? Get yeah, one. So let's re-roll one. Oh. Okay, so three. Has to be something good. Searching the unkept office feels like a jungle expedition in some distant land. Erin nearly snaps the amount of time it takes you to find the note among the mess. Grabbing it, the panda takes the note and hastily unlocks the safe. Come to mama! <laughs> Taking up the contract, she pockets it and sluggishly moves to her desk, spent from all the waiting. She agrees to resume funding the university, but only half of what it was. Exiting the panda's office, a valet asks if you are satisfied. You tell her that you did not get enough funds for the university. You could put in a donation to the school through our foundation, she suggests. Mm -hmm. Continue. The mongoose stares at you <laughs> almost expectantly. I mean, you do not have to put any more funds in to the cause if you don't want to, but just think of all the good it would do for the university. You could fund it for seven. Okay. We could have split it. Classing sensations erupt in your gut, a pit in your stomach growing deeper, knowing you're about to hand over a colossal sum of money that could do a lot for you. But this is countered by warm, selfless feelings when you realize how these funds will be used for one of the highest causes in the world, the education of others and enrichment of the world. You decide to do a charitable act and dump the fortune into the mo onto the mongoose's lap. Oh my, she gasps. Think of all the students this will help. You really have a heart of pure gold. All the conflict inside you is gone, leaving with you, leaving you with peace. The mongoose puts the donation in, in under your name, and after, escorts you outside. Later on, you find out the mongoose was embezzling the money. I it knew it. it never, no, it's not really that. Oh, you <laughs> ridiculous. So, you gain two prestige. Yes! Return the thirst for knowledge to that the adventurer library. Yep. Give card 60 from the library to the adventurer. Oh no, that might mean I need to swap out one of my things, right? And, uh... Depends on what the symbol is. It's a backpack, I think. Or no, it might be a status thing because I feel proud of doing a selfless act. Yeah! Inner peace, inner baby! Peace. Look at that artwork. Oh, that's, that's dope. Meditation and calmness are the keys to tranquility. Okay. The partner would gain two prestige, but that doesn't happen. Take 255 from the library and paste it back into the quest slot. Cool. Into the quest slot? Yep. Okay. Okay, end scene. On to me. Thank you. So, I mean, I'm just going to do a simple action. Well, you can pick up that quest now. Oh, it's the same it's one. It's the same one I just did. Well, I'm you could do it. I'm moving two down, going to the mountainside. Shira. Checking if it's a Thursday. It is not. Mm -hmm. So a mountain 155, please. Hmm. This card has to go back. 155? Mm-hmm. All right. Traveling down a mountain road, hugged by forested crags. A colossal wild boar charges out towards you. Reaching the road, it slows to a stop before fixing you with its gaze. You're not sure what the animal's about to do, but you hold your ground for the moment and wait for the creature's response. Soon it breaks its gaze and gives a short, crooked whimper as it tosses its head about and bolts off the way it came. Well, what was that all about? Do you want to follow the boar or ignore the boar? I'm I'm always curious with, like, the ignore. Does it just cycle your turn? Does it just, you know, move Let's on? Let's try it. Let's experiment. Does no. it? I'm not telling you. What do oh, you okay, want to perfect. do? <laughs> I'm going to ignore the boar. Yeah. Don't follow the adventure. It's better to leave the boar to whatever it was doing. Truly wild animals are without reason or ration. Yeah, you lost your often in danger to themselves and others. Leaving it alone means you won't give it a chance to hurt you or itself. You continue walking along the road, banishing the boar from your thoughts. Return the drawn event to the bottom of the event deck. 
End of scene. <laughs> You should have followed the boar. <laughs> D Jan. Boom! But I mean, I guess if I was hurt or really wanted to get somewhere or didn't want to risk it, I wouldn't have done it either. Yeah. But in this case, you were plenty healthy. I should have followed the boar. <laughs> the call to adventure, Jesse. Shira, what will you do without <laughs> a partner? <laughs> <laughs> You're so annoying. No, I would 100% help you. I'm just assuming you won't want oh, you won't want my crash help. you. I'm going here. Okie dokie. What you get? 213. Oh, okay. So we're revisiting this. Do you have the royal tag? No. Okay. At the crest of a hill off the road, you see a pair of elephant roos watching a nearby tower that is connected to. Sneak up to the wagon. Recall what you know about the building or wish them luck. Sneak up to the wagon is going to be a hard sneak. Recall what you know about the building is going to be an easy lure. Or wish them luck. Nothing. Hmm. You can sneak. Okay, this is exactly what I did last time. Best of luck. Sneak look. is purple or pink? It's going to be pink. Grabbed all your possible dice for you already. Uh, or what was the other one? Green? Yeah. Medium? E uh, no, easy. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do green. And do green? Mm-hmm. Yellow and two more black. Come on, I want to see what this event does. Nothing. That is horrible, Shira. <laughs> Nothing. So far. Do you have any sneak things you could do? No. Uh, One. Uh, it's easy. It is easy. Hey, you got it. This is a guard watchtower. Really? We didn't know. Uh, here, take some stuff for free. Thanks for warning us. You may swap one of your skill marks for a knowledge skill mark. Interesting. Hmm. Which is knowledge? The green? Apparently no, that's survival. So what's knowledge? I don't know. This is right? That's the that's the survival mark. Where's it looks the... like the survival mark is what you could swap it for. Huh. No, green is knowledge. Okay. Okay, so maybe it's just a okay, so yes, you could get you could get green. Would you like green instead of something else you have? No. You're gonna keep it as is? You can keep it. Okay. Mm. Return the drawn event to the bottom of the event deck. End of scene. Okay. On to Jan? Uh, well, it's Saturday. Is this the last round? No, not necessarily. We're just gonna get down here. Gonna get down. Oh no, that's gonna get down on Friday. Darn it, I missed my cue. It's a song! Didn't you don't know, know what the song? song? Was. Doesn't. So this triggers Shira's thing. So Which she loses her person. Nope, I can spend three money to delay it three. Oh, okay. But does the game end trigger, does like our session end trigger on seven days? No. Or seven, seven prestige points? points. Okay. Uh, speaking of, how do I get my last one? Mm. So far. Okay, so we're going to start moving. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Ah, here we go. Do you happen to be exhausted? I am not exhausted. I have found inner peace, actually. 245. 2.45. Traveling up the rising and falling hillside road, you hear shouting in the distance and not long after arrive at its source. Shrinking back, a jackal merchant is trying to calm down a massive emu. I apologize for the drink. It was not to your liking, uh, but, uh, but I can give you a refund. The breath nearly catches in your throat when you see a customer dip to his knees, grab hold of the underside of the jackal's cart, and flip it over, sending it tumbling down the hill and crashing to the bottom. Oh. The merchant screams when she sees all of her drums of beverages smashed apart on the rocks, spilling her liquid cargo. The emu grabs a hold of the jackal. I want my money back! He oh, thunders. Oh, I'm gonna fight that thing. Do you have a serene tag? I do. Perhaps sharing the serenity in your soul might calm the <laughs> emu down. <laughs> Show the emu your peaceful soul. Convince the emu to calm down. I do have medium. convince. Subdue the angry emu. No, convince. An easy fight. Convince. You're gonna do convince. I have all. I have so much convincing. Medium. I have convinced. Let's do it. So Go ahead. theatrical. Yep. Okay. All all blacks, please. 
I can re-roll up to... Let's see. So I have Convince, I have one success, and I can re-roll I mean, one. You could also just show it your peaceful soul. What? Is yeah. that an option? Yes. Show the emu your peaceful soul. There's no skill check. I, I I don't feel... How do you show someone's soul? I want to find out. <laughs> I mean, that has to do with your serenity thing. I don't think he's going to care. No. Did you take part in any of those skill checks already? No. No, no, this is the first time that we... This is my first turn since I got that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> hey! One, and we got two, three. three. Yep, and, and I, I can re-roll one. Oh, okay. Three is pretty good. Yeah! You convince the emu to re to release the merchant and not do any more harm to anyone. Fixing with fixing you with an irritated steer, stare, the bird starts to strut away. Whatever. The jackal sticks out her tongue in it at the irate customer, but holds back any insults as to not rile him up again. I owe you for coming to my rescue. The jackal thanks, giving you a deep bow. I wish I could repay you. Looking down at her cart, you tell her she has a lot of other things she has to replace. What a mess. But still, I am grateful for you when you when you you came when you did. You were too emotionally worn out to help her drag the wagon back up the road uh, and head on your way as she waves you goodbye. You're too emotionally worn out to bother some physical labor. I mean, that sounds, about sounds right. like it my sounds life, about right. actually. Yeah. Really. It does. Uh, you gain one prestige. Yes, I win. You have one more you turn, everybody. Is that you? Yes. Yeah. Oh. So at the end of this round, if you don't get it's two... It's a return something. It's a return to the bottom of the Venn oh. deck. Okay, my turn. Yeah! What are you doing? I'm gonna move over here and continue my story, I suppose. No! That could give you a prestige. <sighs> Meet the enemy. 0089. Zero, 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 mm-hmm. Let me win. Just Where's let me the fun win. in that? A lot of it for me. You knock on the door of the imposing manor near the market. Rather than size, it is the subdued, seemingly effortless elegance that makes the two story house imposing. The yard is impeccably cut, the rose bush is neat, and even the open window on the second floor glimmers cleanly in the sun. It's a perfect home for a villain. The next step on your journey should sit inside from what you've heard. She's White Thing Story's enemy, Kafirit. Yes, a big crocodile asks as he opens the door. The moment you mention White Thing, however, he slams the door in your face. Rude. But you're sure your hero wouldn't be stopped by just that. Do you want to unlock the door by a medium pink or climb through the window for an easy yellow? Unlock. No, Unlock finally. Or climb. Unlock. No, I have climb with my with my rope. Unlock. Okay, medium pink. Pink. So I get an orange. Four of these. Not bad, really. And I have the keys. So pink Horrible. is what symbol? All right. So I'm gonna do another one. <laughs> None of those. One. So one, and here's the thing. Roll the d12 up to four times. If I get a 10 to 12... You get four. I get four, and I stop rolling. Oh! oh. <laughs> Roll it in a slightly different direction. <laughs> no! Oh, gosh darn it. Why? Oh, yes. why did that work? Oh, so ridiculous. Five successes. Oh, I hate that that worked. <laughs> I don't have oh. it all. You pry the lock open and sneak inside. That Short that way, and you come across a large room, complete with a large dining table, and there's a much smaller figure sitting at the <sighs> other end. Oh, you me. Who are you? What are you doing in my house? The dwarf crocodile asks. She must be Kafiri then. She holds a napkin on her neck, several rings on her fingers, and a cane, which she is currently pointing at you. You ask if she remembers White Fang, just as another larger crocodile comes in carrying a food tray, which she promptly drops on the floor. You have some nerve, Kafirit says, her voice suddenly dripping with venom. Do barge in and ruin my supper like that. You try to explain yourself, but she interrupts you. That's enough. Get him. Oh. Fight them, medium orange, or offer to pay for four money. Oh, just four money. Last time I offered to pay, people were like, we don't care about your money. I think this time they might care. I'm going to pay. Four mm. money. Money's worked for me this point. You throw your hands up and offer to pay for the information. At that, Kafiri stops. Pay? You're more reasonable than I thought. In a flash, her anger turns to joviality as she turns to her underling. I like him. Get us a table and some ink. 
You arrive to a deal, and she gives you the location where White Fang retired after his adventures. Your business settled, she addresses you once more. I demand. No, I ask you a favor as business partners. When you find that wretch, insult him really badly for me. Say something that really bites him, really wounds his ego. You gain one prestige. Oh, thank God. Return. Chasing Legends 267 from the adventurer to the library. That's not the card. <laughs> that is the card. Give 217 from the library and give 271. Two, Oof. two cards two? for the price of one, not bad. What was it? Two, 217 and 271. 270. See, they're the same number, but he inverted them, so it's clever. All right, and 217. See? Did you take your card? Mm. Ba 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 ba. Interesting. Interesting. But you get favor of the underworld. Ooh. Backed by a famous person deep within the shadows, new opportunities might arise in unexpected situations. Need a helping hand? Escape from distress? All you need is to ask. If mm -hmm. invoked, discard. Hmm. Cool. And that's like a free thing. It just floats yeah. around you. Interesting. All right. Okay, Shira. You just gotta do just two. And prestige. this is cool. This this location because I just have to tell people is located one space east of Reichstum. So even oh. the side even the side things become triggers. Oh, I have one that's one south. Yeah, it's like two spaces north of a oh, place. Oh, fascinating. Okay, All that right. just gives this a lot more life. I like that. Yeah, it does. Can you please do the seventeen? Right? Seventeen. Yeah. Oh, um, interesting. Does the library have 206 available? Hmm? Does the library have 206 still available? Why? I don't know. It's it asking does. Me. Okay, then yes. Don't read it. Approaching the ranger station, you would immediately get a sense that something's not quite right. And as you get closer, a young woodpecker in a ranger uniform stops you. How, traveler, he shouts. A dangerous criminal is loose, and you should steer clear of the force until we catch her. He looks pensive. Oh. <clears throat> it might be him. He looks pensive for a moment before continuing. Unless you were the help we requested. You ask for more details, and the woodpecker takes you behind the log house they use for jail. While explaining that they were transferring the prisoner, but she escaped during the night. That must be how she got out, he says, pointing out the large hole in the back wall, <laughs> as well as the obvious. If you repair, each tinkering tag gives you one success. Do you happen to have tinkering with you? Mm, no. Okay, well, repair the wall is going to be an easy. Search for tracks is going to be a hard perception check. Sorry, easy survival test. Thank you. Search for tracks is going to be a hard search or perception, or visit the inn. I'm going to do an easy. Can I really? have a yellow die? Oh, I thought we were going to go for the hard one. Hard purple? Yeah, because oh. you have perception. What? What? It's a purple skill? Yeah. I actually will. Yeah. Search for tracks. So you have search with you. Mm, no. Okay. It's still two perception. You might get I need doubles. a pink, too. And one pink. Okay, but however, in the search skill checks, I automatically get one. Oh, and there you go. And then in those, I can reroll up to one and convert one book into a. Oh, success. dude, you're you're fine. So I've got some mitigation, which is why I chose it. In that. Yeah, you're gonna be more than okay. Uh, we don't know. That. I don't have good luck with. Yeah, well, there you one, go. That's three. Two. Three. <laughs> oh. Four. Five. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I reroll one. Yeah, do it. Just like go crazy, go ham. Oh, no. so close. All right, five. Yeah, you got the best thing. The escapee might be cunning, but you see right through their deception, disregarding the obvious fake footprints left around the edge of the forest. Instead, you follow the actual tracks, which someone has tried to futilely uncover. After following the tracks for a short while, you spotted the rudimentary but effective tools used to cover them, hastily discarded in a hollowed-out stump. The escapee cannot be fought now. You may swap one of your skill marks for a thievery skill mark. Which one's thievery? That's going to be pink. pink. Yes. I think they kind of like... And I think they might be suggesting that you are 
probably going to end up using this soon. Yeah. Because the story continues. I'm going to swap out my yellow. Okay. <clears throat> As you walk into a small clearing, you spot a beaver hiding behind a tree on the <laughs> other side. Unfortunately, she spots you at the same time. Jumps a little and takes a few steps back while keeping her eyes trained on you. Ready to bolt and disappear into the woods at any moment. She looks ragged, but clearly won't be taken in easily. You figured you could also try to help her, but either way, pulling this off by yourself could be difficult, not to mention risky. The safer option would be to alert the rangers and call it a day. Either handle this by yourself mm. or alert the rangers. Handle by myself. Yeah, correct choice. I think she would have run away if you hadn't. You approach her slowly but confidently, trying to appear as diplomatic as possible and explain that you're here to help her. Help me? She asked. Y y you came from the station. Why should I trust you one bit? She looks suspicious the entire time, but ultimately she decides to give you a chance, telling you to follow her. Apparently, you'll camp further away from the station and you can prove yourself tomorrow. And prove yourself you shall. It's not tomorrow. Yep, you'll have until the morning to figure how. Give 062 and 206 to the adventurer. End of scene, aka end of game, aka Boomir is the ultimate victor! And I believe that triggers a story event too. Demons. Victory party, 150. <laughs> what was the other number? 62 and... It's 206. Just in case we continue. Okay, so that was... What number was that again? Sorry. 152 and 206. No, the one for victory. <laughs> 150. 150. Okay, let me know, Shira. Three adventures. Ha ha! Your latest adventures have been a resounding success. You've gone where few have dared, overcome numerous challenges, and done many great things. And you know the folks in Galzir have definitely taken notice. How many of those winners have an isolated tag? Mm, no. Huh? What is no it? One. Isolated? Yeah. No. Mm -mm. The competitive fire between you adventurers burns hot, but not hot enough to turn down sharing a drink. For what good are adventures to go on if you do not brag about all that you have done after? As you enter into the inn, the other patrons look on in amazement. They gossip about what they have heard about each of you, and feel graced to be in the presence of so many celebrities. If winners agree, they can collectively pay and choose to buy a round. <laughs> Do we buy a round together for 15 shared gold or celebrate by ourselves? What do you have? I will put in $8. I'll of put that. one in. You cheat. I'm doing 50% of my money. <laughs> I paid 8 I, I'm paying more than 50%. Just pay the, 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 the what's left. Six? I did 8 and he did one. Yeah, so you'll have to just pay six. He should pay all of his You're money. You're paying the lowest oh. percentage of your money. Yeah, you, out of all of us? Yeah, you are. Hmm. All right, we're sharing a drink. Okay, good. Thank you. By a round together. Moments... Please decrease this for me. Moments after your joint announcement, the inn erupts so loudly it feels like the entire roof could fly off. Then it's non-stop pandemonium from there with cheering folks rushing over to mob in an avalanche of fur, scales, and feather. After things finally come down a bit, in come the questions. How do you know each other? Have you ever adventured together? Which one is actually the strongest? Some even start quarreling between themselves over who's the biggest fan of who, and they jump at the chance to receive something from their new hero as a keepsake, willing to trade anything they're carrying in return. Mm. You grin at each, at each when your eyes meet over the chaos. You'll share this triumph together, but next time shall be different. These folks have seen nothing yet. Each non-isolated winner may swap one of their skill marks for any other skill mark. Congratulations on your joint victory. Interesting. So that's so we so it's it's a hustle and bustle, and we all just paid up our skill in some area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I would like to go from knowledge to thievery. 
I'm also going Hardcore Thievery. Because I've got the lock pick. Just makes sense. Mm -hmm. And I'm just... Oh, actually, maybe I should go a little bit on Strength. Since I've been fighting so much and I got... Yeah, I would go on Strength on mine. What about you, Shira? Weren't you just like that? No. Yeah, you was were. I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was. He okay. just went back to so, what he already was. <laughs> so I'll do this instead. There we go. Survival no, I liked, I and liked strength. Your, I liked your second plan. No, no, no. What? The hardcore thievery? No, no. Oh, I liked your... Just I going your... back to the exact same yeah. thing. I'm keeping mine. <laughs> You're okay. keeping yours as is? Okay, so both of us just specialized in two categories. End of game, everyone. Lands of Galzir. And that's been a gameplay, everybody. How do we save it? It's There's instructions. You okay. want to save it? Well, no, I was just curious, because I, I think, like, cards that are out on the map get saved. Yeah, you keep all of this. It's an that ongoing deck, adventure. That deck Saving gets shuffled the in together. Game. So, note the cards in save sets. They don't have to be in numerical order. Remove all timer tokens from the calendar and cards without resolving their time effects. So you remove them. Which I have these two. Mm -hmm. So so basically, there's a hundred percent a way of of adventure just cataloging boards. everything. Take mm -hmm. each adventure zero 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 card from the library. All cards in play. For example, the global status showing the current month. Con to continue the play later, store the game back in its box. Follow the steps below. Place the cards each adventure has into their own save slot. Mm -hmm. Their quests, their items, their companions, and their status. Place all the remaining cards in the global save. Save, swap the quests from the notice board, the local statuses, global statuses, the event deck, and locations. Pack all the components in, making sure to adjust the gold, not to adjust the gold dials pretty or the easy. skill marks. Cool. Awesome. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Great. So, uh, I mean, first impressions? What I, do you think so far? No, so I think it's it's fairly solid so far. I'm, I'm liking how the mitigation kind of evolves as the game progresses as mm -hmm. well. I thought that we were going to be limited strictly to just these three items we have here, but it seems that we can also gain personal traits throughout the adventure, which give you even further flexibility. Mm -hmm. The tie-in of the keyword system just kind of helps out with that narrative mm -hmm. a lot more, just ties everything together. I like how versatile the entirety of the board is. Like we thought initially, oh, it was just the cards that you can change. Then we understood that no, the cards actually have internal things that you can mm -hmm. discover. But then we found out that even the locations have things that you can further unlock. Each one of the random adventures also has a particular trigger based on a particular day mm -hmm. that you're at or on a particular status I condition. Cannot, I cannot imagine the back end spreadsheet of how everything is interlocking. It's like a huge tree. It, it, was, to it be would have to be branches. absolutely insane. So this isn't your style of game. You're not... You like flavor text-ish, but you're not as big of a flavor mm -hmm. text. Uh, for me, I think I think there's two things that I'd like to see finished mm -hmm. before I could accurately give this game what I think I'm going to end up giving it. Okay. Uh, first off, I don't see any real reason for it to be competitive with victory points other than ending the game. Because we just got a shared victory. There wasn't a strategic... No, there wasn't a strategic... I couldn't do anything specifically to gain more or less victory points. They showed up as I played. Sure. So all the victory points did was, I would much rather it be play for a week and play competitively. Mm -hmm. Play for seven days. See it how is. far you that get. That is how you play competitively. You play for... Ex um, that I is how you that. play cooperatively. Cooperatively, you pay for play for a week. Yeah. Okay. So competitively, it introduces the prestige... Uh, the prestige is how you end it. I like the competitive elements, like choosing to ask for help or not, being able to trade, having the like shared buy-in, you rescue, helping rescue her from prison, uh, even things where it's like you can cut other people off. Like I like there being a competitive nature to the game. Like even if I was able to steal something from you or interact with you as the story progressed, we can't I trade. don't. I don't care about driving end game on prestige though. That didn't matter to me. Uh, it just didn't, you know, because. At the end of the day, I couldn't control for prestige. Prestige was based off of the events I was doing, and... But I think if you do better or worse at the events, you get more or less prestige. But think about what I did in my last event. I did a perfect unlock of right. the door, and it didn't really result in... It gave me one prestige, but not enough to I mitigate. saved someone, and I didn't get any. And you didn't get any. So so that'd be one system that I, I'd like to see readdressed or, or re-examined. The other thing that I would like to see that I just can't... I can't rank it until I see the finished game and see how, like, the narrative progresses, the story progresses. I want our characters to develop. I want the world to start changing and, like, 
Like, I want there to be surprise cards that instead of changing the places where it's clear a card's gonna go, I'd love to see a card pop up that pop, pop up that was just like this artwork with a burned down villa mm -hmm. and just shocks you because you weren't expecting something else to pop up there. But I think where this stands right now, this is like a four, 4.5. Wow. I think this is gonna end up being a five out of five for me. It is the exact type of game. Like this is the type of game where when it, when it comes to like Sammy doing this, I would, I would tell him, thank you for doing this so that I don't have to try to make this game myself one day. <laughs> Genuinely, this is my... It does have that animal thing This is love. my type of game, and I don't know that I need to keep playing with either of you. I just want to... No, that's the thing. Like, I just Thanks. want... I just want to explore the world. I guess world. we can just leave here. And I want to yeah. explore the world. Like, the reason why I'd want to continue playing two-player is because three-player, other people's narratives take a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But two-player... I want to see your story and I want to see mine. So the reason why I'd continue playing two players is because we can like bump up head to head and I get to see your story. But honestly, this is one of those games where I'd sit down and I'd adventure with more and I'd go through five or six chapters until I felt more story was done. And then I'd swing over and start adventuring with another one and just continue unveiling and building this world. Uh, it's, it's, it is remarkably ambitious and for someone that's, that's me that likes flavor, likes theme, likes little forest creatures, I like everything that's happening here. I do not think both of you are going to be as positive as that. So feel free to have your complaints and criticism because this is like, they can put on the Kickstarter page, we are not sponsored, endorsed, paid in any way from Snowdale. Like, they can put on the Kickstarter page, five out of five. They, 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 just, they just can. It's, it is thematic goodness and it's what I'm looking for. Okay, you two? Shira, take it. I'm fine with the game. I like the artwork. I like the theme. I don't like having to have other players read for me because I process things visually. I don't process when well, you, you make, could have read for yourself. When you make funny voices, like I don't process like that. So mm -hmm. that ruins the experience for me when I'm having to try so to. So you're decipher. saying is Jan lowers the rating of this game? You made it even worse. When I mean, we, yeah, what? when we played before, no. you were atrocious. You don't know how to read English. So then add that with the voices. I don't it's, know. I don't know how this turned into like we were criticizing the game, not the people playing next to you. But so fine. So that, that always ruins this type of a game. You should have said so. I didn't know that the voices were taking you away from it. It does, um, but it's fine. It makes the experience on camera better. It is funny for me. So like <laughs> games like Destinies and d like those games that have the app, mm -hmm. and I wish the app read, like, would read. It's just Destinies so much. Destinies reads a lot more. Destinies only reads the first chapter. And the end. Mm, does it read the end? I believe so. Yeah, okay. It is wildly more expensive for a publisher I'm to sure integrate audio files I'm into every single I'm not talking about So assuming involved. that we had a robotic, monotone voice that would read everything without any type of emotion or semblance of humanity. Then it would probably rank at a four for me. Mm, okay. Uh, it's a great game. I don't like it at three players. Like mm -hmm. what you were saying, it yeah. just drags on. I like the fact that when... if. When you were taking your turn, I was reading for, like, I was still interacting. So that's the part that I do like. When another player is taking their turn, you bring a second player into the game mm -hmm. by having them read the questions out and stuff like that. I have the same issue with Destinies, really. So, yeah. Snoring dog. <laughs> so, so that's, those are my things. I really like the artwork. I like the stories. I wanted the, I wanted it to be a little bit more person personality based. I wanted like my character, I wanted the app to have some way of knowing which character, like almost ask between each scenario, which character is doing this one. So that it can be a little bit more tailored to like what my skill sets are versus I think yours and yours. I think we're all gonna have our own personal narratives that tie with bigger world events. I would, I agree with you, except for the caveat that I think the depth that they're already presenting here and the overall complexity would also make that almost too much. Like, I think it would be so hard for them to actually develop that. Yeah, I'm just saying what I would like. Yeah. I'm not expecting I don't, any of it. I don't disagree with you, but I think there's... Like some of my things, I had no hope for getting them because I just didn't have the skills in the beginning, and until the very end, I didn't have any ways of changing them out. Like, yeah. when it presented me a hard, like a hard green, 
or a medium yellow, and I only had one single yellow, I was rolling, rolling four black dice yeah, and so one yellow. You. So that was just the frustrating part. Because if you would have done that, or even if you had done that, it would have been a much better odds. I didn't fail a single, would, a single check. It would be I failed cool. multiple in the beginning, and that yeah, kind of and frustrated, and it frustrated me. It, mm-hmm. it would be cool to have some degree of marketplace or insight or a little pamphlet or something that let me know what I could discover at each of these different places, like the market here, the library, the mm-hmm. docks. It well, it is right no, there, no, no. actually. We have the brochure that gives you an yeah. overview, but I'd like to see, like, I'd like to be able to open up and see a shop or see some furnishing or, because I'd like to, the dice control is good, but I don't know how to source it directly other than stumbling across things. Yeah. And it'd be nice to be able to be like, I really need to buff my thievery because so, in, in two sessions, I'm going to be doing a thievery well, how thing. How do you know in two sessions you're going to be so, doing a thievery Well, because, like, I mean, some of my stuff clearly was leading in a direction, okay. but, yeah. My my comments actually have to deal, as no surprise to anyone, is going to be more of the mechanical elements that I feel are not here for me as a, as a gamer, right? Um, I really enjoy the personality of the story. It has a lot of character, right? It's all really well all of the people, all of the people or animal folk feel alive and unique to each yeah. other and each one of them have a voice the that world is feels specific. Complex. Yes, it feels lived in, which I really like. Mm-hmm. And then and the and the narrative chunks are not too long for like I tend to like really short narratives. This is kind of like in the middle, right? Yeah. So it has I like the way that it progresses. It gives you one thing, then another thing, another thing. I would never play this in multi in, in multiplayer because I agree. I agree with Shira that at, at it's three. It just it's gets like it's like Destiny to me. Dull. I prefer yes. Destinies at two players. Mm-hmm. I might even so. prefer this just just at one. But yes. But I think that's a that's a comment on all types of narrative games so far. Mechanically, you just tear though, a hole in my tablecloth. It was a very hard piece. Of it's a sh- wool blanket. It was distracting me. Mechanically, what I would say specifically is the most important thing that I need from this is this board. I no feel hole. I there feel is absolutely a hole there. You just bought a new one. I feel that this can become such more of an interactive element throughout the game. I want this to be that as I'm reading flavor text to you, you have decision points throughout that process to either cash in money, to pay out something, to start swapping out your skills in well, order was, to make it so starting, big. It was starting almost, to introduce that. It's so big, I almost wish that it could. you can have more than four. Also that, I, I would like for this to, I, I wonder if there's like a secret component that comes later in the game that attaches to this and then you can like start e- escalating each one of yeah. these tracks differently. Or that maybe you can transform this into to the same color or something like that. But I do like how the dice are like very characteristic mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it does increase the odds. I want more of that. I like the mitigation of of the cards themselves and the equipment, but also I started with everything I needed. You guys didn't. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's a very different story. And look who won. Yes, exactly. But however, mainly what I want to see is I want this to be changing constantly. I want to be able to be skipping colors all the time. I don't want it to be buried underneath multiple randomized events. I want there but to be agents. Is that how people work? You, well, yes, you can focus on, well, no, that's sure, not, that's thematically. Not how, that's not how characters work. These are work. animals. They're not people. It's also not how, it's not how a living being You can consider works. this a preparation. You like, don't, you, you don't randomly become an amazing lockpick and then suddenly have the wisdom of the ages. Sure, but it also it's a game. We, you can't tie everything to the theme. So there needs I think to, I think, I think this would have been more fair if you had only started out with one item, not all three. No, but that would that wouldn't even touch on my critique, which is that I I'm talking I, about I my like, critiques. Sure. So I I like this board a lot in the idea yeah. of proficiency, but I'd like there to be more interaction more often. I think we were seeing more interaction. I disagree with you on being able to jump around constantly. Well, there could be a middle point. The point that at the end of the day, this I feel needs to be a little bit more changing, more flexible. Either way, at the end of the day, five out of five from Quackalope. Thank you for joining us. Whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games. We'll see you next time. Thanks.